chats just Extra now. Thing? Yeah, I got everything set up, everything started. Um, Can we be heard? Uh, according to this, yes. Can but, we be heard it into a kill funnel? Probably exactly what's happening now. Uh, so if you want to do that recap, you can while I uh, get my food started because I had to go flag the guy down. <laughs> Fair enough. So you're recording now? Yep, everything's recording, everything started. Uh, does anyone want to do it before me? Penis. You know what? Tiger, why don't you go ahead I, and do the recap? No, I will not. <laughs> I'd have to be here in order to do that. Fair. In I guess... that case, Rat, you would be the best choice. Yeah, I'll do it. Um... Get him, buddy, I believe I, in you. I gotta turn down this volume just a little bit. We started last session, as all sessions do, with a recap for the last session before it. No. Moving on from that. Uh, we mostly quickly finalized everything that we're going to be doing. That being impale, disappearing into the night to have a Covert conversation with an individual and then making their way back to the manor to do not the smartest thing, but uh, understanding their mental state, a fair enough thing to do. What do you mean? Getting your ass arrested. I mean, it's either I get arrested or I get, you know, executed. <laughs> fair. You got really lucky that Alexandra moved as fast as she did to rally the guard. She was being arrested by the house guard over the house normal Kishara. guard. Yeah. And then we would have never seen her again. Oh, you would have. Just as a corpse. There's worse fates than that. <laughs> As a vampire corpse. As something making you dinner. With you being the dinner. <laughs> yes. Uh, but Alexandra sent men to grab the mirror and bring it to the manor. The magic mirror. Uh... She had a small conversation with her mom. Nothing important happened there. Uh, and just kind of rallied the troops, honestly. Got the Magnus, got like the, the captain of the city guard. Got her own personal house guard and... Uh, basically surrounded the Kajar Manor and uh, are now making the House Kajar Guard surrender and drop their arms, which they have. Uh, Tavian is upset his spaghettis. Mainly because Impale disappeared. And when we next found Impale, she had managed to get herself arrested by the city guard. Alexandra sticking her neck out for Impale said she was with her. Uh, Samuel had a very lovely nap. He didn't have any dreams to my knowledge. He just, he just napped. <laughs> I did what I do best. Sounds about right. And, um... After opening the door with foot of the House Kajar's house, uh, 
accidentally kicking the door into a somewhat elderly looking butler. Uh, Alexandra was fairly apologetic, but also explained to the man that there is reason to suspect vampiric influence amongst uh, the ongoing investigation of House Kajar. Gonna need to check your teeth. And uh, he complied up until the point he decided to try and munch. Failing to do that, initiative is rolled. Failing because he missed his attack. And, uh, I mean... A lot of it was just kinda... Tola being Tola. Trying to find out and investigate things, learning that, um... House Kajar did, at the very least, move the other magic mirrors in their back room to a different location as of yet unknown. So the only magic mirror under our control is the one under the Inquisitorial control. And, uh, yeah, is there anything else I missed? Mean. Other than the totally, no, you got it. uh, sorry. No, you're good. I'm just not gonna say anything else because won't be judged. Weird. Mm -hmm. I mean, Tavian's perfectly chill and calm. He definitely he has a mask back on. He he well, he seemed to have back on. He got he, that angry. He got that angry, he made a new mask. Fuck. Made out yep. of a tree. Made out yep. of a tree. Yeah. It, it's basically, you know, that spiral mask from Naruto? It's that mask. Oh yeah, he did yeah. straight up pull it off of a tree. That's probably what that would look like. Yep, you didn't even get it from a tree, you got a branch and you twisted it. Jesus, just... Fucking both eye holes, though. God, man, it's been a minute since I've watched Nardo. <laughs> He's having his very edgy moment. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think that has stopped since the character has been created. Though, no. I'm not... There were you... sweet moments. Did you mention the fact you kicked open the door and knocked over an old man? And... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. The one who is the the vampire. One of them. <laughs> uh. Okay, is there anything else anyone else feels that needs to be said? Um, no, I think that pretty much covers it. Do you have any idea what's going on right now, Ty? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I understand, um, but I am going to have to be here be real quick, uh, because... I got to... I'm, I'm being yelled at again, so... Uh... Okay. Do what you gotta do. Huh? Yeah. I gotcha, I Just gotcha. Don't... If you gotta skip me in combat, skip me in combat. I'll come back. Okay. As... A, what appears to be a threat reveals itself, the blonde knight calls out, Get to the door, guard it, make sure no one escapes, and plays a little instrument on their side. Let's take a bardic inspiration towards Alexandria. Fair enough. That was totally from Miguel. I mean, it's the blonde one. Yeah, it's Miguel. Correct. You should just name him Miguel and name the other one too, Leo. If you're going to have the images, might as well sell it. I mean, that's... I, my brain just shot so like, there's like, wait, which one's Miguel, which one's Tulio? It's like, they're, they're so alike. <laughs> okay, they'll move up. Guard the way. They have very distinct differences. That's part of the fun of their dynamic. They yeah. do, but it's also... My brain shot so like, as I said. Oh, no, you're fine. Fair enough. 
it's a bard and a rogue. They're pretty much the same character. <laughs> <laughs> The butler, having realized he's being revealed, will reach uh, into his coat. I have a question. What's the question? What's the uh, dice of the inspiration? Our inspiration. It's a d6. D6, okay. What, well, it's not a d12? <laughs> no, it isn't. Well, this is unfortunate, but I really am a bit, bit too busy at the moment. As he'll pull out a deck of cards and throw them up in the air. And as he does, the cards will come to life in a splashing warm. Creating a, a blockage of sight that just completely covers a ten foot area. Blinding everyone within. I need to roll initiative for the card. The cards are people? Uh, the no, cards they're not are, people. Uh, it's a, I know, it's like, a, it's it's an effect, but... It's... Wait. How did I miss this? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> He's just noticing You just well. noticed? Wait, 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 We've been how talking about this. this. We've been talking about it. I guess I'm just fucking oblivious, man. Uh, man, it's fine. <laughs> just, we have Miguel and Tulio on our side. We can't lose. Recording check. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, the recording yes. is going just fine. There's a very important... Where's Shell? <laughs> uh, I asked yeah. that question too. <laughs> yes, they did. Uh, I, I am not doing for research. Where the fuck is she? I'm not for saying. research, huh? <laughs> yeah, research. It's uh, very important research I'm doing. Okay. Back, uh, if I remember correctly, they're probably at Tulio's house. <laughs> oh no. Well, it depends okay, if this gods. is before or after their uh, okay, the adventure. Gods. Back. Listen, it's okay, Look they're back. gods. Yeah, it's okay. Look them back. These guys are just having the hots for a certain really? individual. But I Navi, mean, guess what? I mean, it's your turn. Hey, lo, lo, huh, oh. man. If you saw them hips... Mm. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. But Navi, you saw the old man pull out a deck of cards from him into the air, and now there's just a sphere of swirling cards blocking your sight mm -hmm. of your ally and the old man. Okay. Uh... Not really much I can do at the moment. Let's see. Navi, are you still here? Yeah, I'm here. Um, I'm just looking over spells. Hold on. Apologies. Um, They're just thinking. Yeah. I do that sometimes. Yeah. Uh, you know, it would be a shame for these people. If there was just suddenly a bear in the middle of their house, wouldn't it? That would be a shame. It would be a shame, guys, wouldn't it? Man. I can barely believe it. I can barely believe it. Yeah, we're gonna throw a fucking cave bear in the middle of that foyer. Uh, so he's charging through the cards? No. They're doing the same. Oh! Sun. Yeah. Uh, could you just slap uh, down your bear token for me? Yeah. I I hate to be a stickler. Hmm? Unoccupied 
unoccupied space that you can see within range. Yeah. Well, pass the cards. Yeah, the cards are in the way. They're oh, blocking okay. vision. Yeah. So it's blocking the whole. Okay, so it's blocking the whole entrance. I can't even see the, like there or there. You can't. I, I picked okay. the wrong shape to show this, for the cards. Gotcha. But... All right. Never mind. Uh. Then. Uh. I'm gonna hold my action to cast this when I can see a space inside, then. Because I literally can't do anything right now. Okie dokie. Then, I try to, try to move here, does anything block me? You try and move through the cards? Mm -hmm. Uh, they don't block you, however, their sharp edges slam against you. So I need to make a roll real quick. Oh, is this a uh, modified blade? Yeah. I thought Cloud of Daggers was only a five foot. No, I'm not even misremembering it. No, it's big. Wait, is it to hit? That is to hit. It says the Blade of Daggers. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, it hits. Okay, and then you take. Six points of paper cuts as these daggers slash against the paper parts of you that are revealed. I accidentally did a minus eight instead of six, so I'll add that back. And then I just. Yep, you are outside and able to see the space around you. Mm -hmm. Do I see anything here? Uh, make a perception check. The, the sphere is blocking sight, so you can't see inside of it. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be fun. Yeet. Six. Unfortunately not. You're trying to look to see if you notice anything that's out of place. Mm -hmm. But you can't like, really see anything. I bet more like doors or like... Anything... Like, not actively, like, searching. I'm just like, what do I actively see? Oh, apologies. I thought you were doing, like... Well, then you see a doorway. Do, do, do. Let me just make sure there's... Bits are revealed. I got everything over here. So, full sight, you see a entryway here. You see stairs going up here. Stairs going up there. You see seats around an area and you can see a glistening bit of water and an entryway here. I don't know where we're heading but I'm gonna at least check this door and I'm gonna go over here and pop the door open. Okay, there, okay. Avoiding Opening the door. What is your sight radius? Uh, what? Dark vision? No, just normal sight. Do you like 30 vision? 30 feet, I believe. <laughs> so uh, you should see everything, yeah. I was just about to say, like, um, I don't know what normal vision is there, mate. Because <laughs> technically, if you're what? asking what somebody's normal vision is, technically, like, several miles. <laughs> I'd say it's 30 feet, makes sense. <laughs> I mean, you can do that if well, you want. Yeah. You, can no longer, don't even. you can no longer see anything beyond 30 feet of... <laughs> Yeah, if you are severely not, uh, I am, have a sight bubble, I am, it is only 50 feet. Yeah, I am now uh, very nearsighted. <laughs> uh, to the point to where I cannot... Feet. Where'd they go? Uh, Sorry, James, the mask that you made, uh, it has the wrong prescription glasses in it. <laughs> There's not any glasses in the damn thing, it's just wood. Also, uh, 30 feet, if it's just 30 feet, Tavian... Uh, is no longer legally able to drive. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> not being an ass. Was, but yes, you can open the door and see what seems to be a large sitting area for meals, a roaring fireplace. Mm -hmm. Pictures Jeez. set up on the walls, wine collection, just laid there and ready and available. And a closed door on the other side of the room, yeah? Uh, across the other side, yes. Yeah, just. Uh, I look at the ceiling, because <laughs> I know what vampires are. 
you do not see anything on the ceiling as you look on the roof in this room. Room's clear. And then I am my heart. I am being Holding murdered out. by a dagger, by paper. Yeah, hold my action to it's fucking my snap nightmare. shit. <laughs> Your nightmare is okay. a deck of cards. Being, being surrounded by paper. Oh, you know what? That tracks. It's your turn, it's Alexandra. <laughs> uh, she's going to step forward. Okay, that would provoke one. Because you're moving through. Sixteen. Miss. Okay. Uh, wait there, please. I shall wait. As the chandelier comes to life. Hell yeah. Oh fuck, the furniture's alive! As I get hit. The metal on the chandelier stretches and then flings a candle towards you. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, that's... a skill I have. Oh wait, no, this would be a... a they wouldn't have prepared that something, so it's a, this is just gonna be a straight attack, never mind. Oh, okay. Like, wait, that's not something that would be readied. If anything, to crit, I hope it's the chandelier. Okay, never mind. <laughs> nice. Would have been nice. I just imagine you ducking out of the way of the one guy, and you're like, haha, and then you get a candle to the face. <laughs> Love that. How, that how high up is the chandelier? I'll say it's about ten feet above you. Uh, okay, maybe, like, you're tall. Like, how tall are you again? She, she's, uh, she's six foot six. Okay, maybe about just 15, then. For some reason, I was picturing you taller. It's pretty tall. This part 6 isn't short by any means. It isn't. Anyways, flippily flappity is the reason why her mom's got divorced either. Uh, she's gonna fly. Okay. You fly yeah. up to meet the chandelier. I'm fighting your chandelier. This is a weird day. <laughs> I have my sure attack now, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that would be two hits. Should I smite the chandelier? Only if you sing it like, you know, Saya. Make sure magic box is on, I guess. And what's about me? How are you, son? I mean, sure, I could try to hit it with the first level smite. Go for it. Uh, weird, correct, weird question. Is it fiend or undead? Uh, on a line, so no. So that'll, be on a line. that'll be 12 points. Nice. Uh, I'm dead. And I'm not smiling on the second one. Just the first. Okay, then that would be to do another nine. Nice. You slam into it, sending a few candles scattering as it screeches in protest. To your batter. Ten feet up in the air. I also have my order, I think. Then it would yeah. be the the cards who move out. Wait, the cards move? They do, they're a flying swarm of cards. Oh moving over here. I will 
and making attacks on Samuel, Impale, and Navi. Hit me, bitch. Uh, technically, they provoke an opportunity attack from Alexandra. She moves flying into the air. <laughs> if it's a large creature, and I'm only 10 feet up in the air, mm -hmm. it takes up a large space, so it's still. True, I'll know. let it. I'll allow it. Fifty boppity. Well, that's not one. That's right. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I'm not doing critical fails. I just I cut yourself on the paper cut. In fact, take one point of paper cut damage. <laughs> huh? I pried. Shouldn't have much more of that left. Oh man. My okay. <laughs> you would think. Be that so that's Pale, that is Navi, and this is Sammy. Do those hit you? Yeah, I'm just not. Yeah. Does the 17 hit you, Samuel? No. Okay. Then Navi and Pola, you take 5 points of damage. And are now in a swarm of... Huh. Flying, quite eager card. Impale. Ah, that's what? Wait. Hold on, that's not right. Did, did I miss Tola at some point? Something wrong? No, uh, thank you. Did you put the wrong damage on? Yeah. Or is the uh, token displaying the go. wrong hit points? Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Oh. How rude. I might as well make these cards disappear. I will use my bonus action to turn my rapier back into pure fire. And it's made of paper. Yep. So, swingity swing swing on paper. Go for it. I'm just doing it right now. 23. That's the hit. This, wow. I believe this co converts everything into fire damage, correct? Correct. So that'll be double damage, and you just slice through the cards, fire bursting as they begin to crinkle and burn, as they begin to fall to the ground, with the last card being a oh, joker God. just yeah. falling on your face. Slightly slinged. So I can see now, so bear. Yep, you can slap that bear on where you said you wanted to place it. That is that is a boar, that is not a bear, hold on. That uh, that's, wrong. Really, uh, that's a weird that's bear. A weird bear, there we go. There we go. Now, that was rather easy. Anyhow, I know where to go. Starts waltzing off. Sir Barrington, check the other way. How dare you? Sir Going Barrington. up the stairs? Coupon I'm gonna perfect. look up the stairs first, but that's where I'll stop my situation. Okay. I'm walking with a flaming sword, and Tavian, it's like that nice silver sword, and now suddenly it's like, where the fuck did the tip go? As it's just now blazing fire. Okay, so from there... You can look above and you can see just a mounted moose on the other s at the top of the stairs. Hanging on the wall. I better not be fighting a moose. <laughs> Swear to god, if you animated <laughs> that moose, Gary, we're gonna have a fight. Is the moose... It's like a full moose, moose or is that a head? It's yeah. a head. A mounted okay. head. I, I just know, it's like, if I'm fighting a moose head, I am showing no mercy to it. Does... No, mercy to the white... no mercy to the moose. I, I have a question. Get my winkle. Why is your does, question? Does the moose shoot a fireball? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's, it's just there. That's the, the first thing they see as they look up the stairs. But I'll stop there and I'm going to let the group keep exploring. Suspicious okay. moose. Samuel? We have no immediate enemy. The chandelier. That's not an enemy. I couldn't reach it. That sounds like your problem. 
as he moves forward. Um, don't you have a bow? No, I don't. No, I'm, just, I'm pale. I go here. Why would I shoot at a chandelier? I hang from them, not, you know, pierce them. Shame. Um, nothing in the dining room. Looking around, there... there doesn't seem to be anything here. Just a roaring fireplace. Um, there... Is that? Is that that's a door? Okay. Um. Okay, I cast thaumaturgy on myself. Chandelier's angry, by the way. Uh, what are you using with thaumaturgy? In in able to enhance my voice. I'm not saying anything yet, though. Okay. Just have it going. Very well. And, uh, that's my turn. This fellow will begin to move up. That's 15, 20, and that's all their movement. They'll glance in, he's like, eh, I'm gonna just sneak on under here. And I'll roll stealth for him. Fucking Tulio. Okay. Isn't even going to try and throw something at the chandelier. Hey man, that's your problem. I thought it fucking... to accidentally hit the boss as well. I'm going to grab it and throw it at you and make it your problem. You really want to do that? 10, 20, no. 25. Ooh. I have uh, plenty take that as he pulls out a dagger and attempts to throw it at the chandelier. And misses. It flies off, just going over your head and lands in the floor of a clatter. Tulio, you better get practice with those. Oh, I'll try. Oh, Fen's not an initiative. Oh shit. Oh, that's you my fault entirely. Sorry, Hembo. Yeah. I failed the Hembo. Let's just quickly get that in. He would have been... He would just Hembo, have been Hembo, at the end, though. So. can just quickly have him do his last round. So he would have moved in, and he's not able to reach, but he would have attempted to jump up and grab the chandelier to help. Just throw our rock. Unless he succeeds as long as he... Yep, maybe. he... With his bonuses, he would have... He is now grappling the chandelier by dangling from it. Good job, babe. I'm supposed to roll initiative for the bear. Apologies. Oh. Help, it's perfectly fine. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, would you like to roll initiative for the bear since you have bear stats? There we go. So I'll there just... we go. Perfect. Then the knights would start to move. Well, the soldiers would start to move in. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10. Oh, bears in the way, so they'll just move here. I wonder what Julio and Miguel's stat blocks are. Okay. It is now Navi. If I had to guess, he had an attack. I mean... Uh, hmm. So where did that vampire go? Did he just, like, teleport? Vampire he, uh, vampire. He, now you seed me. Yeah, he's around here somewhere is invisible. Problematic. Who knows, maybe he is the chandelier. Uh, 
I mean, the good news is that yeah. unless you guys saw the doors open up, yeah. we didn't see it. There was something blocking sight in that moment. True. It's not mad, it's bear. I, I do. Stop is that. it a pig? <laughs> or is it some unholy combination of the three? If it's that oinking, we've got a problem. Sorry guys. Um Yeah you're good. I don't really have a, any target spells and I don't want to shape shift just yet. You do have a bow. Do I have a bow? I do have a bow. I do have a bow. You're right. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's been a while. The chandelier. That. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure it's a miss, but I need to clarify. It's fine. The weapon of desperation. Navi's bow. <laughs> it's it's rarely ever used, and yeah, that would be a miss. That's fine. It's just like the dagger. It flies very close to Alexandria, but just misses its target. That'll be it. Ah, yes, I mean, the why you guys just hit <laughs> the bow of desperation? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. That is an inspiration, I might take that. <laughs> but no. no. Uh, <laughs> and now it is the chandelier. As all the candles suddenly ignite with fire that sears and burns for shooting down from it. The area around it and down below. Now let me just see the radius for this. Twenty feet from it, so Jesus. This might be one of the few times like Okay. Wait. Alexandria. Hold on. Uh, if they catch their saw. own house on fire, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Actually I need to roll to see which direction it's aiming for. Actually, no, it would aim for Alexander, you've actually hurt it. But it would be... do it feet down, so it would be... I need a roll from Navi, Alexandra, and Finn. And those roll. two knights. It's a dexterity roll. What type? Save ability check. <laughs> I don't know what to say, I'm joking. Well, this will be Finn's saving throw. Uh, keep in mind, I do have my aura ability. Which does what? Aura protection. Ah, good to know. Is that hitting hey. me too? Uh, where are you? Ah, no. About 15 or 20. Yeah, it, it's because it's of like... the height it's currently in. Mm -hmm. It's only 20 feet, but it's in 15 feet in the air. So it just okay. gets... So I'm, not, I'm just and... out of reach, kind of. Yeah. You would okay. take it just out of reach as the flames suddenly appear behind you. Uh, the bonus is plus two for my charisma. Okay, that would be a save from everyone but the what? one poor soldier. Cool oh, guys, don't look at explosions. So this is going to be... Navi hasn't rolled her deck save. Oh, Navi, deck save please. It's perfectly fine. Okay, that's going to be a success, so everyone takes half of 17. Which is... Bring... 17, that's... what, 8? 
Or yeah, I'll one. say eight. It makes sense. Okay. And I have that again. Is it, It's fire damage, right? Yeah. Okay. And Let's one see. soldier is suddenly... The fire seems to linger on them as they're literally burning their... Letting panic noises as they're ablaze. Oh. You know what would happen if you had failed? Yeah, what's that bird? Okay, that's the chandelier's turn. I don't believe it gets double attacks. Nope, it's one, so that is its turn. Tavian! No. I'm trying to think. What? Uh, I guess I'm just gonna run past a pale. I mean, I was just gonna say you could explore other rooms. We're trying to do a vampire clearing. Yeah, I'm not letting you go off on your own after you nearly like, fucking ate shit like eight times in a row. I've learned my you lesson. You can always. Then you can always convince me. Hmm? Convince them to hold their hand in holy matrimony. That comes later. I'm just gonna say. I'm just going to say, it's like, they could very well be like, we're doing, we're taking care of the bottom floor, not the top floor now, or something like that. I don't know, it's up to you. I mean, we could do that. The, uh, the idea here is, Tavian would do that if he wasn't afraid that these people have a way out of the fucking house. Why wouldn't they have... True. Yeah, so Tavian's mentality is... I need to stick with Impale, Impale knows where they're going, but on top of that, uh, of course, splitting the party is bad, so if Impale's gonna run off on her own anyways, I'm just gonna go with her. Where's you up to? If you wanna go upstairs, you can. I'm, I'm waiting till other things would change my mind, because I'm going upstairs where... I basically was being hunted, so I know where a vampire is. That's where I'm going. But if I don't go there, I probably would explore areas. Right. This map is huge, and it's surrounded by everywhere. So it's I don't think they could just run, off, run away. That's fair. Yeah. All right, in that like case... They, they won't be able to run away from... on foot. No. But it has to be through magical means. It has to be teleportational. But they have that. Plus, that dude just animated a chandelier and a bunch of cards, so <laughs> there's some high-level casters. They, they absolutely have magic. Mm -hmm. So, just to impale. Look, we need to stick together. I don't care if you're going upstairs, but if you're hunting something specific, we need to stay together. Tell me where to go. And then he'll hold action to follow impale. Okay. Mr. Bear. Sir Barrington. I gave Barrington an order. Go do it. Barrington... Uh, I guess Barrington is gonna go fucking search the room. Which room? If that is a door that he is right next to. Oh, it is indeed a door. Then... Man's fucking head butts into the door and knocks it open. Opens to reveal what looks... Be just a cozy, comfortable looking space. Okay. Looks like these like a little office area, a fire that's currently lit. Oh, they stepped inside. Mm-hmm. Uh da -da, let me double check. I think I have to out for this room. Sure I did. Where is that information I needed? That's a voice in my ear, so forgive me if I'm a little bit distracted. Ah, oh, there it is. So as the bear goes in, the fireplace suddenly ignites with a stronger flame. Hmm. And a piece of burning coal shoots out towards it. It 
it misses terribly. But you now see that the fireplace itself. This fireplace is animated. It is. Oh my god. How the fuck do we fight fire? Hey, we don't uh, have enough fire. Hey, With uh, fire? Duh. Hey Gary, how recently have you watched a movie called Monster House? <laughs> right? Fuck, man. Hey, that it. It's a fuck. Okay, Miss Alexandria. Uh. I guess bippity boppity. Get off my property. Bippity boppity, this will be my property. Yeah. Okay, those are two hits on the chandelier. Do your damage. This is magical, by the way, just so you know. Damn, 24. 24. You slam down hard upon its form as the flames lick over you and those around you. And it cracks, bends, and goes in earth. I killed a chandelier, maybe. Congrats. Oh shit, that's fire. <laughs> cool. Yep, he's burning. <laughs> Somebody put him out. <laughs> I don't have an action. Nope. Impale. Problem is, I can't put him out either. It probably would be the Navi that could put him out. <laughs> For the time being. I, have... I mean, you have an action. Just an action to that. Well, unless it's a completely different effect, and then I'm just. That's, that's the problem. It's like, I could try to pat him but I don't know if it's, like, an effect on him. I say this because Navi might have, like, something with water. Or if not water, at least, like, something to smother it. I mean, you can spit on him. No! I had to take off my mask. <laughs> You're gonna see him pale look to you, Tavian, being like, Fine. I'll make it so that if we spot them, we'll find them. Looks to the spider. Wire basically tripwire shoots between the little stairway area. Are you putting a wire here? Correct. A tripwire. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, it took me a moment to remember. Yes, yes. So, uh... Just paint a little line for me where you're putting it. Sure. Thank you. I'm putting it there because if we walk around and someone tries to take this as an exit... They'll trip. I want to have passive perception. Ten. Eleven. Samuel, what's your passive? I believe it's fourteen. Let's see. I remember there was one member of the group with a really high one, but I can't remember who it was. It's nineteen. Sorry. 19. Okay, that is pretty good. Damn, I guess, yeah. Damn. And now what's your passive perception, Navi? 22. 22. So, Navi... Actually, wait, it's not that time yet. I'm just I'm preparing a bit early. But yes, anything else from you, Impale? Basically, I just will look back to the group and be like, Don't go up these stairs, let them come to you. You'll know. So everybody has their introductions fall upon them as they will start walking around. So I'll go around the stairway, so that's 15. And open the door. Okay, you're gonna open that door? Correct. Might as well clear the ba um, this entire area. So oh, you see what looks to be a statue. And of a door. Check 
jokes on you, Gary. I'm not falling for it. <laughs> so I proceed to walk into the room. I'm joking. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to see how much movement I have. Not, not, not that kind of movement. All right. Really can't move too much. I use an action to activate the item. You did. Fuck it. Walk in the room. Why not? Okay, take that if step. We find, if we find traps, we deal with the traps. You step into the hallway and nothing happens. Can I open the other door? You can. Okay, cool. That's a free action, so easy enough to do. You open up to what seems to be like a kitchen storage area. Or the kitchen itself, actually. Do I, if I peer in, would I see that there's another door that might lead into another hallway? You see door... You see three different doors, in fact. You see one door here, one door here, and a big double door here. Alright. Might as well... Play it safe, step back, and proceed towards the other door. Breach and clear, basically. Okay. So you step there, and as you step there, the fireplace that's in between these two places bursts with life. Reveal? Why is it not revealing? Is it revealed? Nope. Can you guys see this area? Nope. Oh, I mean, we can. I can see the area. area. Yeah. Yeah, just nothing in it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It oh, would roll so to life. Like, oh, okay. That's actually yep. a pretty cool kitchen. It is. Too bad it's not too much of a fan of you guys. Fair. This fireplace ignites, but instead of throwing coal like the smaller one did, it throws a log that's searing on the fire towards you. Man, these home security measures just really want to burn down the house. So let's see if we hit you, my friend. I'm just going to get hit by a nat 20. Watch. Oh, no. Cool. I'll also need to add this. Actually, I'm just going to use the other flame initiative for this one. Just smack add... the log. Oh, I didn't actually add the fire that was like, brought to life from the other one, so... Let me just add both of them in. I just realized I forgot about that. That is the deck. So that would be 11. Anything else for you, Impale? Nope. They, I just am now revealing traps, but I'm being cautious. So, okay. continue on. Samuel. I'm going to cast Sea Invisibility. Okay. Pretty sure that's not a concentration spell. Uh, it's not. So, yeah, I cast Sea Invisibility. How long was it longer for? How long does it last? An hour. Okay. You cast it and look around, you don't see immediately anything revealed. Okay. Um, so that's a fireplace. So we're going 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Also, Tavian forgot to do their reaction. Uh, if I remember correctly, I said follow you. Once you do all your stuff and end there, I guess I just. Ba -doop. Ba -doop -ba -doop. Uh, 
that is my turn. Okay, Fen will swing for a moment before falling down, giving Alexandra a thumbs up. Uh, but let's see if we can help this guy, like, just starts trying to pat them off to attempt to put them out. Which will give them a advantage save to put themselves out. He will live. Maybe. Um, that would be Fen's turn. Someone does the turn, and then it's our good friend here. It's gonna just move further into the space. Uh, I'll I'll also help. I also try and put out their ally. <laughs> you made fucking Tulio invisible. <laughs> like we can't see him. That's fucking hilarious. Okay. Actually, this is one person that suddenly sees them, which is Samuel, who sees them creeping across the hallway. Can I tell you something? You can. Uh, where are they? Nice. They are currently here, just walking by. Where? What about arrows pointing? I do not see an arrow. GM layer. On GM. Ah, that, that was explained. I didn't know that also hit your arrows. They're right here. Yep. Creeping towards the doorway, or...? Creeping up towards the stairs. So, I'd because I thought of her, dude. It's gonna be a nice, loud, booming voice. Uh, I understand how sea invisibility works. They look normal to me. Yep. Uh, there's a guy creeping up the stairs. He's at the base of the stairs. I did That's warn people to up that stairs, to be fair. God. That, that's a guy we know. Yep. Tulio's uh, a friend. <laughs> oh, but, I mean, if I if it's somebody that we know, I... Yeah. Let me yeah. let me rephrase. I thought it was a vampire dude. My uh, apologies. Uh, uh, then I take everything guy. back. It's this guy right here. <laughs> I thought it was vampire dude. Oh, no, no, no. You're, you're good. good, you're good. You're good. We good. All right. He's not going the stairs that will be bad for him to go up. Okay, fair enough. He was attempting to sneak around the bear. What do you actually say, Mr. Samuel? I don't say anything. Okay, dokie. Okay. Then this guy tries to put himself out, though he will take some damage before then, thanks to being set on fire. Luckily, that... he has two people patting him out, so it's... Yep, yep, yep. Mm. First, he'll take 2d4 points of damage. Did, did he just, like... Okay, now he's trying to put out his friend. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. And that would... Oh, yes, advantage. I roll again. Ah, yep, he's out. He's no longer on fire with that natural 20 with assistance. No, he is not looking to be in the best of states. Pull back, get some medical attention. He'll thumbs up and move out of the door. Scorched, battered, Jason? but alive. Well, it's just Jason. Jason? What? Uh, no, don't worry about it. Seeing that people are moving to the <laughs> oh, next room. Jason. Dead has an NPC that just does nothing but thumbs up. Ah, I got you. That's, that's his entire personality is his thumb. Oh, I'm gonna name this guy Jason now. I'll put a name on him. You're welcome. Sounds like a dead. Yeah. Okay, In Dave. fairness, Jason's been through a lot. <laughs> They have all moved. Navi. Is 
Zoom. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Reveal that map, Gary. I was waiting for them to say anything. <laughs> I just realized that my mic is still muted. But no, we're, ju we're just walking. For now. Okay. So Oh, you haven't opened the door? Well... Okay. So you're there. Is if you open there? the... Yes, there is. Oh, it doesn't... It doesn't look like this door, so I guess I'll open the door. And you reveal a hallway. Nice. There's a door... What you believe leads into the room your bear just walked into and walked out. And it looks like there's a... Turn that leads somewhere else. Well, you know what? Not doing anything else, so yeah. I guess I'll action move as well. I thought we'd be fighting vampires by now, honestly. Mm -hmm. We're fighting IKEA. Door again. <laughs> There's two doors. There's one. Objectively worse. There's one here, and leading down to so there's one here. Someone's hacking up along. I will follow oh. him they're going by themselves. Proceeds to watch Navi run away. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, and you've revealed more going down there. And you've got, like, really good vision. From the correct yeah. She has, I mean, 20 plus best perception, so yeah. So you see two stairways that seem to be leading down to a, looks to be a wall, which is confusing. You see a door here, a door in front of you, and a door here. Okay. Well. That's it for now, so... Okay, they're okay. Back here, the chandeliers are on the roof. Creak as they come to life and begin to crawl over the roof like metal spiders. Well, that answers my question for future things now, and I don't like it. Metal spiders with burning candle pincers. As they move towards their nearest enemy, which just happens to be Fen. Both of them jumping down and attempting to bite him. Okay, let's see if they get the poor guy. Alexander can still be reached by it on the ceiling. Oh, you're all right. Like she hasn't, she hasn't come down. She, yeah. I've already rolled though, unfortunately. Fair enough, I'll be back. But one of them will hit Fen. And that will be. Da -da 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 -da. Wait, if they're 15 feet into the air, wouldn't they take fall damage? You know, you're right. <laughs> As he just takes 23 points of damage, and I just roll a dexterity save for these things. That's a lot of damage for D4s. Unless you did it the other way, where it's supposed to be 4D8. No, those are defaults. Okay, one of them made their save, the other one didn't, so they would take a d6 points of damage from that fall. We're in a situation where I cannot ignore basically murder. The chandeliers have done their turn. Tavian! Hmm. 
dude. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Open the door. Okay, they okay? The door opens to what looks to be a hallway. You can see a door with a with an area, and you can also see a stairway that goes upward. Alright. 60 door. We're gonna start doing breach and clear. Mm -hmm. Clear. Outside. You found a palm. Yep. Stairwell outside and outside again. Two exits. I think they're all upstairs. I think there's one more door to my north. That is a door right here, right? Where are you pinging? Right here. Yeah, that's a door. That's it. The bear. bear. Uh, well, the bear is not a fan. Oop, the bear is not a fan of the fire, so. Bite the chandelier. Uh, I don't know if it can. How high up is the chandelier? They both came crashing down to attack the oh. poor Tavian. Not Tavian, the poor fan. <laughs> ah, so it's on the floor. So, uh... Uh, we're just gonna... You also get advantage. Ah, yes. We're gonna... I thought Finn got more hit points. And... Where did they all go? <laughs> he poured... He rolled poorly. He did get more hit points, but he's been burned and bitten twice. There you go. How's that chandelier fe feeling? Those are two hits and... This chandelier is looking quite bent. There you go. Miss Alexandria. Your fiance is about to be murdered. Well, he hasn't made the proper proposal yet, so. Your potential like... fiance is about to be murdered. <laughs> Alexandra's that petty, but um, let's see here. Turn the tide. Okay, that's a bonus action. There's not enough hurt people around me. It's just Finn. I don't feel like it's worth it, so I'm just gonna whack the one that's injured. Finn's not worth it. No. <laughs> it's just a D6 healing. But I'm gonna fly over here. Act not fly, but move there. Okay. Go for it. And, uh... Advantage. Uh, natural 20 and 10. That's one hit. Yeah. Smite. Uh, second level smite. Oh, that's undead. What that one? I think it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> How much is that in total? Let me just. Um, 14, 30, 50 tail. Yep, that one would completely bend this one until it goes down in the limb. Anything else for your turn? Don't hurt my boyfriend. As she looks at the melting bile of <laughs> scrap metal. That's my himbo. Okay. As that happened, the fires crinkle with life. Let me see if the bear is in rain. 
is. So another piece of coal is held towards the bear. It misses. And while that happens, Impale, who is still in the danger range, will find a surge of fire moving towards them. Can you make a dexterity safer? I mean, I can. 19. Okay, you will take half this damage. Then it's your turn as the flames flicker around you. Um, when you say, in the image, it's large, but reality is that... It's a fireplace. <laughs> I wonder if I could throw my water skin in and just have it poof in a pile of, like, steam putting it out. Hmm. Like, it's a fireplace, it's water. Can put it out, but the problem is it's a fireplace both for the kitchen and for the area, so it's a little bit bigger. Yep, it's quite a big one. Doesn't have anything to shut it closed, does it, though? It doesn't look like it, but maybe if you search, you might be able to find something. I'm just thinking about fireplaces and being like, eh, it'll just <laughs> close it. No more fire, fire. Not gonna lie, guys, I'm pretty useless against things that are on fire. You are the flaming character. <laughs> yes, queen! I was about to say, I was pretty sure that was Navi. Oh. So... In the po in this chance of preservation of life... Before I do that, I'm seeing you putting a lot of these fire things, Gary. Are you trying to burn this place down? Uh, you would notice that fires are definitely just slowly spreading from little pieces. Ah, <sighs> I can't. We can't let this place burn down. The soldiers on fire duty. Correct. I think the soldiers will need to do fire duty. Well, if I can't fight a campfire, I might as well shoot a chandelier. Pulls out an arrow, pulls it tight, aims for the chandelier that is kicking Finn's ass. Go for it. So I took five feet of movement. Kablooey. That's a fail. You... the string gets caught in your thumb and it really hurts. <coughs> um, try again. Okay. That's a miss. Oh, well. Uh, Alexandra, it seems like everyone's trying to hit you today. It's just another close arrow that just whips by you. If I get shot by any of you, you're going to jail. Well, with that humiliating, you know, display, I'll open this door instead. Okay, okay. So it is revealed to be another hallway. Alright, how much movement do I have left? Another 10 feet. Correct, yeah, 10 feet. Funny enough, too, if I stand here, it's going to be very hard for the fire to chuck logs at me. You wouldn't be wrong by that. I am very aware. I'm kind of screwed. I can't fight a campfire, so I have to be useful in the sense of exploring. I will go in here. Okay, then okay. I will go here. And that will be the end of my turn. And with that, Samuel. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I was gonna go that way.
But now you have a campfire you could fight. That might be trying to burn the place down so that we can't find evidence. Uh, yeah, well. The appropriate spell won't work here. Because I don't have it prepared. <laughs> Alright, I mean, it's a table. It's It's got settings. Is there jugs of water? I would say Ace. that's a small dry Ace of water. There's no vases with water, flowers, jugs oh, of water. There would be some flowers there over here. But I guess there would like... be some. There's, there's tons of bottles here, so I'll say if there's any water to be around for all the wine. Oh, that, no. I'm looking for water. Yep. I think if there, if there is water, it would be somewhere on this shelf where all the drinks are. I was gonna say, there's nothing on the table? It's the like table is... What? I was gonna say, it's like they don't need to drink water. Yeah, but they got... This is the fucking windows. They gotta put up appearances and shit. <laughs> Man, these are awful vampires. All right, remember, whatever. Um... They were having a party elsewhere, remember. <laughs> yeah, but they still... Never mind. Anyways. Um, so these are like planters? They are. Are they gonna have water in them? I would say yes. All right, so I'm fucking going to, and picking up a planter. Because it's got water and soil. So you can smother the fire. I'm smothering the fire. Five, pick up. Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. And just dumping that bitch on this fire. I need to check to see if there's anything about that for what I've got. <laughs> uh... as, as far as I know, if it, if it can't really move, because you kind of showed that it's staying in its fireplace, I think it's just gonna hit it. It is gonna hit it. I'll, I'll say you do 2d6 points of damage. It can't resist you trying to smother it. 11. That's pretty good damage. Hopefully the guards understand that things are going to be lit on fire and we might need to start putting things out. As I yell out, put the fires out. Do what okay. he said. And, and, uh... Yeah, I'm just going to drop the planter onto the fire, too. Why not? <laughs> I'll take it. it. I have that one. Nice. You just it dropping how... it into the into the fire, what? right? It depends how big the the fucking planter is. Probably I'm just gonna toss it aside because it's okay. not gonna really help me. Because the next one I'm doing, and there's another planter here, I'm going and grabbing that one. Okay, okay. Then it's Fen who is. In danger, so they are going to rage. It's been a while since I've done that. It's only been like two days. I know, really but session wise. I mean, fair. We've been doing a lot of politicking. Politicking? I mean, there's been a lot of dicks. Yeah, there's one. Trampezing around in red scales currently. Oh. Okay, let me just roll their attack because they're going to just rage. One, two, two, she's on the ground. I'm advantage because of the bear. That's true. So that'll be two hits from them. Nice. Do, do. They are raging as well, so that would be... It's still there, just. Something moves that 
you can't see because it's doing its own thing. The friendly fellow will just pick up their instrument and swing it at the chandelier. Ah, he's going clubbing. He is! Because <laughs> he's a bard. That'll be a swing and a miss. And then it's the guards who have their orders. But one will go over here, take five feet, grab two. That'll be another 20. So they'll be able to get to there and throw a planter in for a 2d6 themselves. Nine points of damage to the poor f helpless fire. This one will do, do ten, twenty-five. Well, got there and then there, so you can just get there and also follow your example. Only four points of damage. And the final guy. Then they'll be able to get there to grab the last planter, but not move any further. To use it. Navy. I'm gonna open this door. You find a bedroom. There seems to be uh, dust clinging to this place like it had to touch for quite a bit of time. I'm gonna go back down here and open this door as well. Another bedroom. Nice. Here, yeah. Yep. Open that. You found the bathroom. What I love is that there's another door here that leads back to the group. Right. There it is. Uh, oh, sorry. And I guess I'll open this door. Yep, you opened it and you found the kitchen and you can see the roaring fire. That's where I'll stay. Okay. Chandelier, Our there's... fire next round. Chandelier will ignite with flames and shoot in this direction, so... We have Fen and Alexandra that need to make a dexterity save. Plus two to Fen. Ben should also have advantage due to its uh, effect he can see and cast at him. Do you get danger sense at six or no? He's a level behind us, he's at five. Let's add it. Okay, let's throw over him. Alexandra saves and with that Fen will also save. So both of He's... you save, and then you take your damage. Half this. Half again for Alexander because it's fire. Yep, another eight points. Wait, is Finn also resistant to fire damage? No. No, he's... Bronze or copper? He's electric. Oh. He's electric. Yeah. yeah. And with it doing that, Tavian. Hmm. Door here. That is. 15. Open it. 
20, 25, you the door. 30. You see a hallway that leads to other doors. Where are the doors? There is a door here, right in front of you. Mm -hmm. Here. Leading outside. Here. And the full one. Well, cool. You can open three doors, Tavian. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Dash. You could say it's three doors down. Okay. You Five. open the doors. Find the bedroom. Door. Bedroom. Door? Or is it one bedroom. Is there a door here? On that side, no. no. Just imagining fucking Tavian being like the Flash running through this hallway, opening up like a bunch of doors in six seconds. Like just kick, kick, kick. Yeah, that's what he's pretty much doing, yeah. Just three bedrooms all empty. Oh, yeah. And there is a door at the end of this hallway, but that's it. Oh. No, I'm right out. The Navy SEALs will be disappointed in your behavior. Oh, they wouldn't. Yeah, they would. You're not taking enough time to properly clear the room. Well, we're hunting. <laughs> we yep, got time. and with that, the bear. Navi, how is uh, the bear? They can't really it's go anywhere unless uh, you're allowing them to squeeze, squeeze through places. Uh, where are they trying to squeeze through? I mean, either up the stairs or down one of the halls, it doesn't matter. Uh, I say they could do it with a athletics check just to through. Alright. It can squeeze through, where's it going? Uh, I guess I'll start to go upstairs. Okay, it can go up there, and I will have to shift the map <laughs> to reveal where it's going, but for now it's hidden. So just make it play up there. That's why I love it. Technically, Navi can't see through the barrier, so you can keep it hidden. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Bear. You are having your own issues. Yeah. Actually, I'd rather the bear set traps off than us. Well, the bear would have enough movement to get up there, so I need to check something. I'm just waiting for one of the servants to yell, Is that a fucking bear? <laughs> <laughs> you guys will start to hear manic laughing from upstairs as the bear goes up there. Laughing because holy shit, why'd they bring a bear? This is hilarious. I need the bear to make a wisdom save. They're gonna charm the bear. Uh, the bear does not go off my stats. I have my my uh my sheet set to Navi's wisdom because it, her wild shapes keep Navi's wisdom. So I gotta go find cool. bear mentals. Roll a d20 at least and then add it. Is it a brown bear? It's a gay bear. Gay bear. I'll say it's there for getting up. Uh, they got a plus one. Uh, one. yep. It's a 12. 2 okay. win, 13 okay. raises, 7 charisma. The bear will find itself falling onto the ground, prone, rolling on its back, laughing, unable to stop itself. <laughs> Solid. Okay. Nice. I do want to mention this, Jerry. Just to make sure, you might need to check the intelligence of a bear just in case. Yeah, you might. That might not actually work on a bear. Oh. Right, hold on. Oh, yeah. let me double check the intelligence of a bear. It's a bear. I've got it. I'm pretty sure Toss's uh, face laughter doesn't work on anything lower than a three. It's got a two intelligence. Uh, a creature uh, with an intelligence oh. score of four or less is, isn't affected. So the so, bear just ignores it. 
The, the bear confused. doesn't get the joke. The bear is confused. The, the bear, bear is inert. The bear finds the situation unbearable. I thought a, a cave bear would have better intelligence because it's a friggin' cave bear. They're no. clever buggers. So, there's laughter and you don't know what that laughter's about, but it's happened after the bear went upstairs. I just want to imagine- wait, this didn't work on the bear. I don't think we're smart! Gets mauled. Hm. Barely stand it. So anyhow... Oh, yep. Anyhow... It is Miss Alexandria. Um, Alexandra will. Jesus, that's a lot of fire. <laughs> I mean, we already have the fewer guards being fire crew, so they could possibly handle a lot of it. We just need to get rid of the things making the fire. Yeah, uh. Hip hoppity. Alexandra was gonna try and free up Finn from his situation. -y. It's nice too that Finn also can put out fires. Yep. He, that's why he, he, he is also raging now, though, so he might not be in a state to do that. But that is the impact. Both hit? Yep. Well, oh. no, one, there's one hit. Sorry. Okay. Let's see the first hit. 13. And is that oh. to the chandelier? Uh, it should be 15. I had turned off the dueling an accident. But yes, okay. that is to the That chandelier. would bend and bring down this chandelier. Anything else for your turn? Um... Is there like a potted plant somewhere nearby? Are you looking for a potted plant in this area? You can't see anything. Well, actually, there's one here. Where? Right where... Oh, sorry, GM lag again. One right here. Decoration. Okay. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could throw myself on that fire and roll around in it to try and put it out. You could. It is a little coal. It's not a log, which is huge. This is like a tiny little coal. Yep. Yeah. Honestly, you probably could stomp on it and just be like... Yeah, I'm gonna come over here and try and stomp on it. Okay, that's easy enough to do. It's a piece of coal that's burning and singeing. Flames are lightly licking on the wood, but as you stomp it out, it thankfully doesn't spread, and you have put out one fire. Finn, if you can hear me, start putting out the fires. I'll have to consider that when it gets to his turn. Impale! <laughs> okay. Well, I think it'll help Navi out too if I go up this way. So I'm going to do one, two, open the door. Okay, okay. Three, four, buckle my shoes. You found even more storage. And of a door. Alright, let's see. One, two, three, four. 
that's the thing. It's like we're we're not really trying to like investigate the rooms right now. We are basically digging for any combatants. Let's see. Honestly, if Tavian goes up, he might find things. And I know Navi could check that door. So I think the wise decision that Impale would have to do... Probably would have to rejoin the um, guys below. Pick up this potted plant right here. Probably be picked up. Oh, well. These guys work fast. Well, boop -a -dee doop boop -a doop boop -a shoot it. They shooting the fireplace. Go for it. Wonder if I can shoot the tiny one from where I am. <laughs> Maybe. Because I think it's like we have a giant swarm of people around that one. I think the tiny one's more of a threat. I'll go for it. I'm gonna shoot the tiny one. Okay, roll the hit. Eleven. That's a miss. I missed the fireplace. I'm very sad. Fifteen. It impacts, but just bounces off the stone. Oh, no damage to the fireplace? Well, let's just say you haven't made AC, but it's close enough that it impacted around the edge. Holy shit, this fire has a high AC. It's solid yeah. stone. <laughs> the fire or the fireplace? The fireplace. Oh, okay. I get it now. I wouldn't have done that if I knew that. Apologies, I should have explained more. It's okay. Um, I guess I end my turn. I can't really do anything. in Poor decisions. Okay. They'll be fun. Who I need to make an intelligence saving throw at disadvantage because they are raging and they got told to put out fire. At least if he goes right into a fire, he could punch it. And with the negatives, that would be a seven. Got put out fire. Ah, uh, what's the nearest? Seven. I'm, I'm conflicted. I think they'll just straight up run to the nearest big fire and try to strike it. So, yep, yeah, they go over to the nearest one, shoving this guy out of the way. They start stamping their feet into the fire. Finn, <laughs> no. Angry man, go boom. <laughs> I mean, if he kills the fire, we're good. Oh my god, a nat 20. Well, okay. Finn, yes. <laughs> um, that is 20 damage from that punch. That it is. As... Well, not punching it, they're kicking it, but it's still the same move. <laughs> as they just start slamming their foot down into the fire, burning themselves in the process, but they're doing their business. I like one point of damage. Samuel. Well. This thing didn't try and attack me? They tried attacking somebody else? The fireplace? Oh, I did actually yeah. do attack for this fireplace. Thank you for reminding me. That's oh, alright. He's going to get smothered again. Yeah, it will also attack you, so you should be reminded of me. Thank you! Yeah, no problem. That also means I'm... the little one tries to attack. Yep, yep, I got distracted. So this one would just be a log attempting to smack you in the face. Oh, that's cute. Nice mother him again. Yep, and the other one... I guess we'll throw a bit of coal towards Miss Alexandra. With an eight, that's a miss on both sides. So he's been smothered with, uh, ten dirt. And water. Okay. 
Uh, where did you get the dirt and water from this one? Because there's one. one. That one was already taken, the only one left this guy's holding. What? I mean, that's enough movement it... for him to go run it, grab it, and then pour it on. Yeah, give me that shit. Yep, you could do that, and then after they pass it over to you, it takes 10 points of damage. Nice. This thing is the still going. The flame is still going, but it's looking very much smaller. In fact, I will shrink the fireplace to show that. I appreciate that, because I was about to sit there and go like, oh my god. It's not okay. vampires we have to worry about, it's fire. Uh, it also takes an attack of opportunity on me. Oh, it will. If it wants to. It misses. It does. So, that was 5, 10, 15, dump, 20, and I'm going to start working on the actual flames itself. Is it... I'm guessing it's an action to, to stomp it out on the ground? These ones are logs, but yes. Okay. Okay, that's it. Well, Miguel, we'll go right here, actually. Okay, Miguel will see people are trying to put out the fires, and they'll go and put one out themselves. See, there's no, no immediate threat. He can put out a lot of fires. He has a lot of movement. True, but he only has one action. That's one fire put out. And then it's the next... Actually, here it should have acted before Miguel, but yes, at the start of the round, some of the fires have gotten bigger as they begin to light the surrounding area. The rug in the kitchen area begins to burn and catch a light. This is going to get out of hand real fast. Soldiers seeing Fen doing their thing will grab their spears and start poking the fire. Oh, come on, fellas. You guys have at least 10 intelligence. It well, seems to be is... working. <laughs> That's well, I fair, think... I guess. What I think they want to do is get rid of the thing spewing fire. Okay, let me make sure I have the right stats for these guys, Do Oh, yep, I do. Oh. So, two misses. Pete's so fireplace is stupidly high AC, holy shit. Damn, another two misses, I'm just rolling shit with these guys. That's six attacks and not a single one hit. <laughs> Man, they got plus three decks. If now it is way to put a fire, that'd be great right now. Oh, yeah, it's your turn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I do, but first. Open door. Uh, where are you? At the, that door. You open that door and find yourself looking upon a greenery area with a nice cozy little fountain. Okay. Oh, that's a well, not a fountain. Oh my god, the water's so far away. It's fine, don't worry about it. This place not really does so have not have that good of a Obviously. fire safety. But, uh, we're here. I can see everything, yes. Yes, you can. Cool. The, uh, city fire marshal should have found this place. Oh my god, that actually might kill the camp on um, the fire, too, because it just rains fire. I'm that right there we go. Yep, that is just fire coming down. It can't really resist that, so this fire is put out, this fire is put out, this one is just on the edge, but it's uh, also put went. out. And 
This is direct fires. I say 3d6 for the fireplace. Roll that. Direct fire? It's rain, but I made Gary say fire. I did my job. Yeah, you tricked me. <laughs> Ten points, and this with the this fire is put out. And also, I think from where I I had it. Oh, you get the other one too. This one here, yeah. Oh, that indeed. Yeah. Do you have cleared this out? It's all wet and soggy. It's but... wet now. It, we're all a bit soggy, but it's fine. Anything else for your turn? No, that's we are, it. We are indeed soggy songbirds. <laughs> Up above, the laughter increases, and your bear is under danger. Let me just make sure I've got what I need for this. Bear defends itself however it feels necessary, just so you're aware. I am aware. So do what you will. Making sure I've got the right attacks for this. So, yes, and it will deal that. So, several attacks are going towards this poor bear. So, first attack, second attack, third attack, and fourth attack. Oh my god. Well, two uh, attacks are hit on the bear, I believe. That's, uh, the bear's AC is 12. Okay. So. That, that does help me, so that is just two. So it takes two, 13 and then 17 points of damage for a total of 30 points. Now you don't know what's happening up there, but something is happening. <laughs> The laughter has increased intensely. Are you there, Daffy? Yeah, sorry. Have you given the bear the damage? It took 30. Oh. Uh, uh, sorry, I figured you were gonna do that because <laughs> you have the bear technically being not in my sight anymore. That's true, I, I can do it for you. In that case, Tavian, it's your turn. What you doing, big boy? Knocking this door open. Uh, okay. He's gonna be Kick. mad. It opens and you see land. There's a door here too, right? Yep, you see another door there. 10, 15, 20, go back in. Yep, you see the star room. The door is wide open. 30, dash, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's clear, I think everything's upstairs if there's even anything left. They're having a quest ball up there based off what I hear. Yep, for those that are close enough to the stairs, they can hear that laughter. Can't hear shit. Now it is the bear. Do you have control of that? You gotta do the bear. Uh, it depends. If the you bear want to, while the bear. The bear would do its attacks. Navi, would you like to roll for these attacks? They are not here anymore. 
right, let me Run open up their bear thing. <laughs> they've got their bear. Da, 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 da. Actually, can someone tell me what the, the attack is for a, a cave bear real quick? I've got a lot of stuff open Hold on. right now. I'll pull it back open. That would, that would help me greatly, thank you. Alright, so it has multi-attack. It has two attacks, a bite and a claw. It can do a, a bite for plus seven and a claw for plus seven. Uh, the bite is 1d8, the claw is 2d6. Plus five for each of them. Oh, I thought you said plus seven, okay. No, plus seven, no, that's a hit. Plus seven. It's a plus seven. Plus seven to hit, but I said plus five to damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, uh, that would be two misses, because that's two elevens. Oh, we don't need to worry about the bear now. Yep, Miss Alexandria. Would you like to fight in an unkillable campfire? No. Um, Do you have a choice? Is, is, like, the main construction of this place, uh, stone? They're Gary, like, stone walls, stone floor, even if it's just, like... Which wood. area are you looking at? Uh, the room with that I'm in, with this big fire. This is, this is a wooden floor? Did I put this fire out? A uh, new l bit of coal were thrown at you, so it's a new fire. Ah. Uh. You put it out just for it to get reignited by another piece of coal? Yep. If you're thinking the stone... Yeah, stone won't burn, but stone's integrity falls apart after beyond fire, so... Yeah. Uh, but you are in an area with wood flooring. I'm thinking if I could just contain the fire in this room, we can get a bucket brigade going. Well, the problem is, to contain it, we had to stop that campfire from launching more. Fair enough. Uh, I guess Alexandra would yell out, Tulio Miguel, one of you two, go get a bucket brigade. As, um... She's gonna step on this one, and I guess... Furl out her wings... To try and create as much surface area as possible as she can. So, what are you doing? You've... Exactly, I'm confused. I I'm stepping on this little coal pile here, the one I'm standing on, to put it That'll out. That'll be an action. That'll be easy enough that's to an, do. That's a full action? An action to put out one of the fires, yes. Okay, uh, never fucking mind then. Because my hope was to activate chromatic warding and just kind of fall on top of this one. If you like to do that instead of the other one, that is possible, yes. Then, yeah, a bigger fire, bigger problem. Okay. And, and that is, you become immune to the damage associated once you have this trait. It's a fire. Don't you fall upon it and you're trying to roll to put it out, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Uh, make just an athletics check as you're rolling wings out, using your form, and with the wings out spell, you have advantage because you have more ground to roll on. Okay, whew. Because it's straight. <sighs> Why would it be disadvantage? That's an exhaustion. advantage. Oh. I have exhaustion. The fuck? When'd you get that? When I Think flew up mind. there, like... Oh, right! Shit. Yeah. I had, had that? consequences to my actions. That fire has been put out, and you're, for the moment, prone on the floor. Feeling a little bit warmer. I would like to use my action to stand up. Or <laughs> the rest of my movement to stand up, I guess. Why don't you just stay <laughs> on the ground, can't. so that way when it flings fire at you, it's a disadvantage. I would prefer it to hit me rather than the ground. That's fair. I'm immune yeah. to fire. And it's this fireplace again. 
and you're a bit closer now. So it's just going to have a burst of fire that fuels towards you. Dexterity save. Do I need to? No, if... you're immune to fire. You just stand there like oh, a boss. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you're immune to fire. I forgot about that. So the flames come out. They go over you, but they do no damage. They just scatter tiny little fires in its wake. These fires are annoying. <laughs> they are very annoying. I'm like sitting there going like, oh my god. Alexandra's just yelling all this from the other room. <laughs> In pale. Oh, I hate the fires. Brings me nightmares. Stand by. <laughs> Miguel. Um, I'm going to get ready to go up the stairs, but now we know at least that we found all their exits. So that means that I could let Miguel know specifically. Entry point here, 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 here. Kind of situation, you know? Please try and help me with this room. <laughs> I am. By being proud of myself. What? And shooting with arrows. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, I'm gonna try to aim at this thing, which has a really high AC. We're gonna find out. If you miss again and another arrow flies, but uncomfortably oh my God. close. I hate this thing. I'm surprised. It's not even moving. That's what irritates me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just. Standing a, still. It's a fireplace, and it's another one that just whizzes by oh. Alexandri saying, This is annoying. Oh God, I need to stop. I'm done, guys! Bonus action. That one just gets between Alexandra's toes. I'm just gonna do a bonus action second wind and free action cry. <laughs> Go for it, you can. Don't you use your second wind uh, during the troll fight? Oh, um, I got a short rest. Oh, okay. Damn. So that's 10, 16. Back to full HP. Nice, nice. Oh, Ten is raging. So they'll just run towards the nearest fire, double action to get there, and throw their body on it. I just want to see them, like, punching little, tr little these little charcoal things. It's punching the ground. Well, he doesn't have an action to do that, he just throws his body on it and takes the damage. To put this one out. So, three points of damage. Does anyone else see five on the die, but three on the thing? Yeah. Shh. Ignore it. I don't trust it. You're right. I also Damn don't you, trust it. Um. I mean, there's not much I can do. Other than, you know, stomp out the fires, but they're already gone. Everybody was prepared to fight vampires, but Gary was like, you're fighting furniture today. I mean, there's an entire other room that Alexandra's Five, yelling about. 5, 10, 15. Yeah. Do I know about this fucking shit? You can uh, what's this fucking there. shit? The tripwire? Yeah. I, I made sure people knew. Can yeah. I step over it? You know, since I did point it out, and I was saying, like, be careful here... I did make sure people knew. Yeah, if I can step you over have, it, I will. You also, I think, have high enough passive perception to see it. So I'd be 10 feet upstairs. Okay. While you're up there, I'm going to have to reveal what you see, though, not the map itself, just to help out. You're all on the same area. Okay, let me just get the Emla. So you would see. Several floating moose heads. Their tusks dripping with blood. Circling and laughing. What the fuck? Okay. This is upstairs, right? Yep, but 
As I... you step into the area you're laughing at, use a wisdom save. I'm not the third cast make wisdom save. He's probably gonna be fine, but it's all the same. Yeah, you're fine. Too. You feel the laughter digging into your skull, but you're able to shake it off. I'll just blink and cast Spirit Guardians. That works. I believe that does damage on their turn. I no. think it does it at the start of when it's cast and at the start, but it's or at the start. Really, it depends on the DM's flavor. Would you want to do more work or less work? I think I just do it on their turn because that'll make it easier for me. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, and it looks like stars. Pretty little stars burst and fill this space. Like Thirty foot stars, radius. Stars, moonlight, sky. Yep. And I just start moving forward. Because I am assuming they're going to try and gore me, so have fun. Come at me, bitch. Okay, okay. Thank Not you, you. Mooses. You're great, Gary. <laughs> Thank you. So it's Miguel who will do a full round action and put out this fire. These guys will run on out, beginning to move to the last fire. That's what they got told to do. Navi. Wait for them. Uh. Everybody in that area is about to get real soggy. Uh, second first, same as the first. Uh... That'll do it. It's a tiny campfire. It will die. thing about these is they're not even cutting into my actual spell slots yet. It's a shame okay. we don't have prestidigitation. <laughs> so, um, where are you? I'm right here. Okay, range, and you're just filling the room with it, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay, then do we that 3d6 points of damage as this small fire is put out. Nice, nice, nice. The fire grows a little bit dimmer, as that's the first bit of damage it's taken. Anything else for your lovely turn? No, that's it, man. Okay, then we have the cackling floating heads. Spirit Guardians, and they have half movement if they're in the Spirit of Guardians. True, true. So, what's the save they'll need to make for that? Wisdom. Okay, let me check what their wisdom do. Hit the Uno reverse on them. No, you. So, one, two, and three. They all three fail, so roll the damage for them. 18 Radiant. 18, a solid bit of damage. They wobble as their form scorches and burns in that light. You would definitely draw the attention of these three as they would suddenly turn and charge towards you while cackling as they do. It is two. I know. See if they hit you. No. Can you make it to me? They're flying. Okay. But that's a one, a one, and a fourteen. Does a fourteen hit you? No. So with that, they'll fly on by, but their movement is half. So, 
Some of them will be able to, but some of them stay in range. Uh, next question. They did a flyby? They did. Did I get a- do I get an attack of opportunity on them? You would get to attack on the one that got away. Sure. I love giving- putting the hammer down. Except now my Warhammer is gone off of my thing. What the hell? All right, we'll just do. It. We'll just use it like normal. Seventeen. It's not two-handed, but that would be a hit. Roll that damage. Has anybody else had issues with shit just? Disappearing on their sheet? Not okay. I. Uh, yeah. It's all 20s, kind of. Yeah. So it's th uh, five damage. Okay, okay. It swings and it's laughing and stopped for a moment before it begins to cackle with madness once more. And then the final one will charge towards the bear. At the novel one! What the fuck? Also, uh, point of note, did I see the bear? Yeah, the bear is up here with you. Okay, I designate the bear as one of the people I don't want the fucking spirit guardians to hurt. I assumed. <laughs> I was treating it as such. Well, if anybody else from, un from downstairs comes up here, they're gonna be hurt. Oh, that's true. Because I didn't see them. So, Tavian. It's your turn. James? I just realized that you couldn't hear me. Uh, I'm yeah. literally just dashing upstairs knowing that that's where the fighting is uh yes i james am aware of ouchies tavian is not yeah as soon as you step at it you get pelted by stars well uh, which one did you charge above did uh, you do you remember about the trip why did you just walk through that as well of course i just stepped over it that was there when it got put down okay just making sure <laughs> Yay! So wisdom saving throw or take nine. Let's see this this wisdom fail. Yeet! Hey man, that's that's real minimum ouchies, at least. Absolutely. Fuck out shit! <laughs> and as you get there, I also need to make a wisdom saving throw from the cackling. Yeah, don't walk into me like that. That's a fail. So you get up there, instantly get hit by a star feel a bit of pain that suddenly turns into laughter as you fall prone, cackling and rolling on the floor. So he hurts himself and then it's so funny that he fucking falls over. I hurt, yep. my, uh, I hurt myself in my confusion. Anywho! Just... <laughs> Dink. Oh, fuck. That's all I got. That... Uh, Yep, that would be your turn, as you're cackling and rolling on the floor. Bear! Is Navi here to play Bear? Well, honestly, it's DM's control over the bear. Well, now well, that we know what's happening up there... It doesn't matter if she's not about yes. to command it. Correct, True. that's the key thing, so unless you are in the control bear... Navi can do, like, the rolls and such, but, like, you do bear. Now oh, that'll be one crit. What is the claw damage again? Uh, 2d6 plus 5. 2d6 plus 5 for the is claw. The... Mm -hmm. the bite is 1d8. Multiple people are talking. One person. What was the actual damage? <laughs> the claw is 2d6 plus 5. The bite is 1d8 plus 5. 
There's a crit, so it's double whatever this damage. So 22. That is a lot of damage to this guy. Miss Alexandria. Um... I mean, Alexandra's immune to fire, and this is a relatively small fireplace, right? Right? Is that a DM? What was the question? I'm confused. You cut off a little bit. Okay. The statement is Alexandra's immune to fire. But. I believe so. I can't remember how long it was, though. This a minute. One minute. Yeah. So, I, I'm immune to fire. That is the statement. The question is, this is a relatively small fire, right? It looks to be so, yes. Uh, Allo James was going to run over there and try and pick up the fire. The fire that's in the fireplace? Mm -hmm. Yes. Taking out the wood. Uh, I guess just athletics check to lift up as much of the the coal as you can. <laughs> well, I'll say you've picked up some of it, which will dampen the flames to 2d6 for me. Okay. You're just taking away its fuel. <laughs> That's sustaining it. And, uh, guess what? I guess in that case, she's just, like, shoveling out with her arms, just trying to, you know. <laughs> I guess? Well, uh, yeah, just 3d6 in total. <laughs> okay. You're doing something that would definitely weaken its ability to resist you from its AC. It's like, okay, that works. Can it's she taken do it damage. again? Well, isn't that two actions you've just done? No, like, that was attack? supposed to be at a, a disadvantage. Cause... Oh, okay. So they were just being one D6 then. Apologies. Uh, okay. You can either take the three or the three. <laughs> yep, I'll take that. Uh, and you can do it again. Ten. I just say no for that, unfortunately that's a bit too low. You attempt to, but it's just burning cold. You I would like to use my inspiration, because I find this funny. Go for it. Twelve. Okay. That would be another D6. That's just picking up the the burning coals. They're the warming up your hands so you feel the fire getting a little bit weak. Three again. There you go. I don't know, man. The fire. It doesn't like that you're just taking part of it and attempts to throw a coal piece into your face. Okay. I would like to try and eat it. So you just let it hit? I would like to try and catch it in my mouth in particular. A dexterity roll. <laughs> Seven. Uh, you attempt to bite it, it ends up slamming into your nose and getting stuck in there. You're immune to fire now, but now you've got a piece of skull just stubbed up your nose. What, you were gonna say, James? I, I was gonna say something snarky, but you got coal in your nose. I, I, I got nothing for that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all I'm saying is that it didn't make another small fire. 
fair, I guess. I'm counting this as a win. Until you smoke your brain out. That's already happened. Oh, Fine. Still Why raging. They talk about smoking. This is not their intent. Wouldn't it be Impale's turn? Yeah, it is Impale's turn. Impale's turn. Yeah, you skipped oh, Impale's turn. Right. No. Impale, it's your turn. I'll move Fen back to where they were. I'm just happy. Scoochy scooch. I'm just happy I didn't go down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Do I see the moose up on the top of the stair? Um. I'll say you can see it floating up there, I guess. I'm gonna shoot it. Go for it. Let's see if you can beat those really low numbers you've been rolling. Huh? You don't hold that much hope. Why? I'm gonna knock on the wood for you. That would be a miss. Alright, round two. Some fun. I, also, I'm, not a scene. I'm very sad. Some Looney Tune shit going on in here, man. I know. I, I feel like I should be changing the music at the moment with the you crazy should, stuff. You, you know. You know. Honestly, you probably just fucking should. <laughs> this is not stressful. Fighting. This is not even remotely full of suspense. This is just kind of funny. <laughs> so, um, I mean, that's that's the end of my turn. Yep, and with that, it moves on to Samuel. A Finn. It's Finn. A Finn, so now yes. you're skipping Finn. Who, who's angry and will charge and attempt to just kick the fire. <laughs> because they're in a state but they don't know better. And they hit both times. But since they're just kicking their literal feet into the flames, they'll take some damage themselves. <laughs> have Alexandra just on her knees, shoveling coal out of the fire, and Finn just kicking it. I feel like Tulio is just looking at all this and just... Uh, not Miguel, he, sorry. Yeah, it's Miguel. He'll probably he's try to do the music. Same. Yeah, he's probably... He, he would. He would. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Speaking of which, he's got a stick to do with dead, but he's going to join in. <laughs> Tulio will be the one to join in, Miguel's ambience. They're, they're keeping a distance to just poke at it with a stick. It's like, let's just do a little bit of help. <laughs> Nah, they, they, they really don't want to. They're like, I should try... Nah, nah, nah. The this, this stick catches fire. They'll just throw an inspiration towards Impale. No, Impale, you got inspiration. Hooray. Like, you can do it! Yep. Little string of the instrument as they drop the stick. Soldiers. Uh... They see one of the floating things, so they'll go up the stairs and poke at that. This one will move it... in. Oh, I did I forget to skip the one again? Yeah, so you Samuel... skip Finn and then you're like, oh yeah, now we're moving on. Oh, I'm so used to his hitting <laughs> you the button. I can't see him. Sam, it's your turn. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'll move the guys back. Oh. Are you sure? Are you sure it's my turn? Yes, yes, it's your turn. I wouldn't want to step on your vibe. <laughs> My vibe seems to be skipping everybody, so it's perfectly in You have skipped a person for the last three times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just swinging on one of these things. Fuck it. That's like a... 17. Nice. Because my thing's still broken. I'm trying to fix it. Yeah, do that. For 8 damage. 
Okay, which one are you swinging at? It's actually nine if it's been injured already. Okay, so which uh, one? Whichever one is hurt. They're all hurt. All the ones around you are hurt because of your spirit, so I'm just asking which. We'll, we'll say this one. Okay. So that's nine points of damage to that one. Anything else for your turn? Uh, no. Okay. Navi. You skip, skip the, the guards. guards. <laughs> oh, for fuck. Uh, I was literally you waiting. You good there, Gary? <laughs> Gary. For the love of God. Out of sight, out of my mind. For the love of God, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Do, Gary the guards. Do the guard. We know you're British, but you shouldn't be struggling this hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm just... It's at advantage that to hit, way. Burr. Damn. Doesn't change anything. The five. <laughs> <laughs> this go, one will it. take two actions to move in. Not able to do anything. And this one will do the same. But it's the floating heads once more. Damage. <laughs> Navi! Navi! Fuck! Stop uh, hitting skip! It. Stop hitting skip! Stop hitting skip for a second! <laughs> yeah, just go all it's, the way back around. Nothing it's happened. So there you go. Integrated into me that it's like. No, no, it's over. fine. You can, you can, you can do your moose heads. No, I, I just want to point out. I just want to point out. You skipped everybody to get back here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god. The music. The, over, guys. the music's in everyone's soul at this moment. <laughs> yeah, the music makes it funnier. Duffy. <laughs> oh, Duffy, it's you. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Since, uh. Since everybody's in a silly, goofy mood, we're just gonna make those guys wet again. <laughs> oh my god. Unnecessarily so, since the fire's almost dead. However! Okay. Roll up 3d6 for the fire. Take your wet. All of you. Get damp. You're just giving these guys a mold problem. <laughs> Actually, damp, just roll a d20 for me to see if you get maximum wetness. Uh, <laughs> well, I already had I don't like I... that. Don't like hey, the way um... you said that, though. I think that usually involves a charisma check. Sometimes. <laughs> Constitution check. Fuck. Sometimes. <laughs> Gary, sometimes thoughts should stay inside thoughts. Yeah, I, yeah. The thing is, that was not meant to be lewd or anything. I was just to see if mm -hmm. they brought out the power of Ashima. Oh, I, I'm fine. well You're aware. Fine. Oh, that is God. just rat. Here we are. It wasn't just Get rat, wet. I immediately died. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Take your wet, get your so, wet. Yep. Anything else for you? Damn, it's really tough. No, not yet. Okay, and then it's the head, so I'm now it's back the, in my... It's the fire out. No, it's Roll not. some save for your heads. Okay. It's still there. And yes, those heads all need to roll. Minus three, uh, minus three, they all fail. Okay, roll that damage. Please kill them. <laughs> and then kill Sam. Or Tavian. That's fine. Yeah, what you want. I got the HP, it'll be fine. Samuel? Spirit Guardians. Are you sure it's not the heads? Yeah, it is, it is the head. Head. Spirit Guard is actually the thing this time. Oh yes. Oh yeah, they get uh they get fucked, so do they get another save or they just They did. That, yes. That, those rolls are their saves. They fail. Oh, well. We don't know. Two of them succeeded. They no, minus three. Minus three. <laughs> oh, yes, they failed. Did the music also affect you, my bad? <laughs> kind of. Everything. It is uh it is something. Well, I don't even see your damage. I take 17 oh my God. radiant. Okay. 
that would be the two that you've already damaged along with the original. Getting put down with a... Whatever the dying sound of a moose is, I don't know what it is personally. Oh no, I think we're gonna hit... Never mind. Isn't the one that is right here next to me also damaged from the first time? From experience. He's like hit the other ones with mace like... with his oh. weapon. Nod. Fair enough. Okay. So this one will rear up and charge down at the helpless individual that's laughing on the ground. It has advantage. With it. Exactly. That's why it's doing it. <laughs> that's how these things meant to function, but it somehow turned into a comedy routine. That misses. <laughs> yep. That also Becca. misses! Ah! Oh, so, <laughs> yeah. It... Roll out the way <laughs> while laughing. Yep. And it's just one more little attack. Do I roll another one? Either the bear speed? or the guy. It's not in range. I don't I think. I am. Ah, uh, it's my turn. <laughs> well, yeah, I've got the other thing to do first. There's one more. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. It is staying on the bear. <laughs> Crit on the bear! <laughs> nope! Oh. I can't hit anything. I, I, somehow Impale has infected me. Good. And it's Tavian. I almost skipped you, Tavian, again. It's fine. It's, you skipped the bet. Okay, <laughs> you're showing back around. It's Tavian's turn now. I gotta yep. roll a wisdom save twice for the fucking... One for the laughing, oh. two for the fucking damage. Okay, so roll for the damage first. Thank God. <laughs> Half damage. Yep, so half damage with Spirit Guardians. Roll it, my dude. Damn uh, yeah. Kill the boss man. 16. Minus, minus 8. So 8. Yeah, just. Pelted by meteors, please. Why are please. you still in my vicinity? I can't move, <laughs> I'm laughing on the ground. And <laughs> I continue to laugh, just. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, you're just rolling there, unable to help yourself. This pain is the funniest thing you've ever experienced. Ah, uh, now it's bear. Navi, would you like to do the attacks for the bear? Because you can see what's. Technically, you got it. You've, you've, you've been doing great. Nah, nah, you roll for the bear. Nah, you, nah, nah, you want to take my bear? You, can, you, you take my bear, man. I don't you want to take your bear. You have the stat block. Roll the fucking stats. <laughs> 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 no, I lost my bear privileges, man. I will it's roll fine. for the bear. I know it's stats. Here I go. D20s. Here we come. I'll At advantage. Us. At advantage. <laughs> See how fast Navi rolled now that I said I was gonna miss. Uh, those are two hits for all your damage. Man, I'm rolling nothing but tens for damage to total you today for no claw, reason. Claw, pin down this moose head and just tear into it, pulling it off the piece that's attached to as it falls limp, leaving only one left. Good bear. Miss Alexandria. Um, I guess Alexandria will blow the coal out of her nose. And, uh, just kind of fall onto the fire. And try and smother it that way. Okay, uh, I'm saying of athletics roll for this. The slowest death for a campfire. <laughs> okay, I say that is uh, two d six. Actually, it's above twenty. Go three d six. It's twenty two, and last time I rolled a thirteen, and he gave me three d six. Well, I remember that was supposed to be two rolls slapped together. Fair. And with that, the campfire 
is finally put out. I should have said the actual fireplace fire, just a smaller one. <laughs> this is actually surprisingly cozy. How how is Miguel looking as Alexander just decides to fall onto fire? Puzzled, mildly concerned, and then just shrugs and starts playing their instrument. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <sighs> then uh, I guess Alexandra will get up, dust herself off after it's, you know, done its thing. Uh, I gotta see the range on something. You'll have half movement. Oh. Okay. Move there. Right. And with that, it's in pale. Oh, I, I got an action. Your action was to throw yourself onto the fire. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a bonus action. James, get off that. To... James, people can... We, we'll still be able to hear your fucking video game. Get off that. Uh... No, you won't. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do champions. Stop playing video games during D&D. Is he playing Hell Divers? No. No, Dragon Sogma. Two. Uh, also, the game was not supposed to start. <laughs> I was trying to look at something. Okay, so who are you healing? Uh. I'm going to try and heal the bear, this guard, the Navi, bear. Tola, this guard, that guard, Finn, and Miguel, if he's injured. Everybody it's, within it's 30 feet. Anyone within 30 feet of me that can do. Roll that d6 plus your charisma. It's a very good thing. Hey, six. Okay, Finn now uh, has double the hit points he just had. And I guess myself, Jesus. Well, then, Finn! I might as well he, start walking up. He was angrily throwing himself literally under the fire. Yeah. Finn has no awesome self preservation. He's raging right now, there is no preservation, just anger. So Gary, I assume everybody's now gonna go up the stairs. Do you wanna move everybody upstairs now? They're after still I shoot this move. No. Oh. <laughs> I was just double checking to see if there's anything else down here, but there isn't, so yes, I can actually move the map now so you can see what's up there. Let me at least shoot this move first. There we go. Alright. Climb up these stairs. Well, as you can see for upstairs, you can actually see down there. Huh. Oh, I thought, well, that would have made it. Oh my god. So we could see this floating moose? Yeah. Yeah, I would have made it. I would have shot it from down there, but you know, whatever. I'm up here I... now. To be fair, I had forgotten about that opening as well. I wasn't on that map. <laughs> I, I'm curious if I'm gonna miss once more. Let's find out, guys. Is Impale going to infect the group with misses? Here we are. Please hit. I don't want to laugh anymore. No. <laughs> I don't want to laugh anymore. Fix it. Miss again. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Do I get hit? Please shoot me. <laughs> Do you uh, take the shot? It's funny. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'd rather have my bow break. But basically, in this situation, maybe this is why the Curse of Impale is now happening. It's a flaw. Oh dear, stay away from me! As everybody just like suddenly starts becoming fumble fingers. Tavian looks at his sword and goes to how to sword. <laughs> oh, uh, Tola's flipping through the instruction manual. <laughs> Okay, uh... Hello, 
Oh, black <laughs> is it health for your turn, um... Impale? Reaction, acceptance of my flaw. Okay. Fen, who is still raging surprisingly, mostly from self harm, will run to the stairway, then run up for a second action. So, do. And they'll be there. That's both of their actions, because they don't have anything to do for rage. Samuel! I'm going to step up so I stop destroying Tavian. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swing at the moose first. Okay, make that swing. Hey, better, 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 hey, better, better. Yeah, even if you step up, I'm still in range. Well, if I destroy the moose, then it won't matter. Nah, I don't think it did. You didn't hit the unfortunately. Oh, well. I might as well just not move, then. <laughs> Embrace your suffering. <laughs> if you're yeah. there, actually. Is it 15 I... feet or 30? 15. 15. Okay, so Finn is just outside of that. If Spirit Guardians was 30, is this be fucking... Yeah. I wouldn't Honest... want to take an attack Why? of opportunity. That would be silly. Honestly, we should just Stop. let Navi keep doing their thing. They're our MVP. They're doing all the work for us. They really, they're doing a lot. I just, I, uh. <laughs> hey, look, man, just keep giggling. You got it, buddy. <laughs> I start giggling that is crying, you're doing it wrong. <gasps> I'm laughing so hard I am crying, fuck off. <laughs> I know they're funny looking, but enough time visiting your relatives. We must continue to fight. Okay, and all of those guys are gonna move on up. Just uh, Navi. because they're dead. Shoot the moose. Take the shot. No mercy. I don't shoot the moose. <laughs> anyway, have a good day. How, how would nobody hit? Ah, uh, I'm refreshing roll twenty. It needs to make it safe. Oh my god. I mean, even if it does, it's probably. Dead, but dear fuck. I feel like Rose Party is hearing this music and is just like, I'm gonna make this music last. Maybe. Alright. I re I fucking restarted it and the music's paused for me for some reason. It does that. Okay, it failed its save, so Samuel. Uh, well done, well yeah. done damage. Roll that how damage. Hard, how, how bad is it looking? It's looking pretty bad. Alright, well, I wanted to die, so... Goodbye. And that would do it. It falls. And with that... All enemies will have been perished. For the moment. Want to move further into the home? Alright. We're going to find vampires just literally sitting there laughing their ass off at us fighting a campfire. Um, we're not worried about me hurting innocence, are we? Uh, like on a six. Okay, then I stop spirit guardians. Oh, and then I go over and slap the shit out of Tavian. <laughs> hey! Get up! That hurt my hand, didn't 
hurt your hand. Why'd you done do that? Yeah, because I'm slapping the shit out of you. Yeah, I just stand up. Are we still I would be wary. On? Yeah, the turn order is closed for now. You can move as you will. I would be wary, all of you. Whatever I was fighting, I don't know what it is, but it is rather painful when it bites you. Actually, I don't even know if I could kill it to keep regenerating its situation. I slash at it, and it brought its wounds back up. Sick. So I, I just start sauntering through the home, spinning my hammer. I'm so sick and tired of things fucking with my emotions today. Do you want healing? You're right. You gonna make it? I'll be fine. Do you want emotional Heal healing? Man. Would you like a hug? Not right now. The eyebrow wiggles between the two of them. Is this? No. He is stressed. He is pissed. I There's a mask. I will use healing word on Finn. Okay. I will proceed to or five. Explain to the group. So, as far as I remember, if we could find the windows in front of the house that we're I would say we saw from above, I could definitely tell you from that direction is where I found a master bedroom. I don't know about the other direction. This is probably where I actually was trying to get into before I was bitten by a, I wouldn't say a sultry maid, more like a blood, a bloody maid. Foot. Well, let's go ahead and further investigate after I heal Finn for 15 points in line hands and Samuel heals him for five. Okay, I'll add those points. So, I know my character will look to the group and also say, Keep an eye for a mirror. Understood. I know what you're getting at, but other priorities at the moment. Capturing them and all. You open up the door, find yourself looking at what seems to be a luxurious lounge. There's a skull mounted on the wall, decorations of bone, paperwork scattered around. Sam, get your funny eyes in here. Sam. Yes. Get your funny eyes in here. Okay. I think he hesitated because he didn't say please. <clears throat> please. I'm already here. I yep. don't need your permission. Ugh. Looking around. Oz, can I have a perception roll from you, Tavian? Mm-hmm. I'm looking everywhere. On the ceiling, too. Yes, yes. Is there somebody good. lurking? You do not see anyone in. Yoo-hoo! 15 on the die. You can hear what sounds like banging and muffled noises. Uh, I immediately kick the door open. Okay, you kick open the door. Do. You kick open the door, it looks like you can see the dresser is. kind of just rattling. This is the old lady of the house. Did they put her in the dresser? 
probably. Alexandra will go over. Is it locked? Okay, let me just double check something. Oh, it's a mimic. It's a fucking mimic, isn't it? But you reach for it. And the door will open for a moment. And you can see within it the familiar sight of your ally that's currently bound in clothes as they're being constricted within them before the clothes will shoot out towards you. God damn it, Tulio! <laughs> you must fight the clothes now. <sighs> Let's see if they hit. Oh, I did not need to roll that. Well, while they do those shenanigans, I'm going to look the other side of the area since I know what's over there. Okay, the clothes attempt to grab you. And there is a fight going on over here now, so that would be initiative for those in that space. God damn it. <sighs> damn it, Bobby. Yeah, just delete everybody off Clear. the initiative tracker, please. Yeah, just delete everybody. And then I will also reveal the wardrobe. Reopen the initiative so we can actually see the track. Hmm. I roll high with Navi, who has no no bonus to her initiative. And then get like twos and threes on my initiative with my high dex characters. <laughs> I know it's that for you. Like... <laughs> and I have uh, but... I have a yep. feeling it pales going to drag us into a bigger fight. Mm -hmm. Stick with the group Getting attacked by clothes, I just kind of humph and start looking around. Because if you can't yeah. handle fucking clothes, then I can't help you anyways. It's more the statement of Impale's gonna bring us into a bigger fight. No! No, no! They're gonna get eaten by a vampire because they're walking off alone. Okay, just getting everyone to do it in. Well, ignoring the pings from Discord, because fuck you, Discord. Oh, I forgot that deck. And then Fend, surprisingly, the highest there. Everyone got their initiative in if they're taking part? Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving that. Impale. So, clear out this little hallway first. I don't see the full hallway, so I think it's like a little blocked. Oh, let me do. I didn't realize the entire thing was. There you go. And I'm trying to see where doors are. Think you could ping them for me? <clears throat> well, it looks like you can see a door here. Okay. Right there, and you see what looks to be a corridor that turns that way, and there's also a door here. Walk to this door first. Open door. Okay. You open the door. And as you do, you can see the familiar butler. Fucking called it. <laughs> Fucking called it. Who will glance over towards you, seeming to be just holding a butler tray and setting something down. There's a hunched figure in wrapped clothing sitting before the crackling fireplace, mumbling to themselves. Yeah, the As they look over towards you, say, Ah, 
I was waiting for you. Come, come. And as they say that, I need to make a wisdom con save. Do, do you have a I do need that? to ask a important question. So, let me look at my thing very carefully. Is it a charm spell? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's dominate person. That's what I'm saying. Does it require me to roll a charm? Now I'm checks so basically. Basically, if I have to, if it's they're trying to charm me. Um, double effect. check. It is a charm effect. Yes. Yeah, I believe so. Yes. This is why I keep my inspirations, people. Because if it is charm, I get advantage. Which I kind of need. No, you don't. Well, let me roll one more time. Maybe I'll get a nat 20. No, okay. 19. Okay. That is enough to save. You feel compelled to follow his suggestion and just walk on in left. I probably wouldn't leave the door wide open. Go Sure, sir. I'm here to say hi to you all. I also am here to pick a bone with you since one of your ser uh, servants, I would say, had lunch with me as the I was the lunch. Okay, you step on through. As you do, the door closes behind you and with a click. Ah, oh, fuck. As a familiar figure falls down from the roof. God damn why the mean? fuck did Why the fuck would you listen? <laughs> I you wasn't listening. That? The thing is, I was not expecting. I like you, I said, you I left the door open. That was a taunt. I am very aware it was a taunt, but I was thinking like, ha. Huh. And I basically did not. That same that same woman keeps getting at me. God damn it. Well, it's a good a thing we have at least one, at least one bear-sized battering ram. Yeah. So yeah. At what point how... do I get over there? Well, I... okay. You can add yourself to the turn order now if you want to be in it, because it's clearly necessary. Yeah. So, I'm not too afraid, as I will then use the rest of my turn to do the things I need. Step one. Bonus action. Activate my flame blade. No, or not my flame blade, but turn my blade into a fire. Step two. With my main action, dodge. A very, very smart move. Step three. Step out of the way of door so that if bear does charge through, the thing that's by the door will get smacked open with it. And final action. Looks to the guy and go like, Exactly! This is the person that took a gnome out of me without permission. I demand ret retribution. If at least not that compensation. And that's where I end my turn. Okay. And then it is Fen, who... Isn't aware of the situation because he's across the other way. <laughs> the door is literally across from the other door. True, uh, but he just but saw that the... door is closed. It is yeah, now. He saw, he saw the door open and then close after they went in. He also has like a minus two to wisdom. Yeah, no, he's he ain't see shit. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna move to where all the shouting's going and assist with that situation. The only shout was God damn it, Tulio. <laughs> yeah, which they very clearly heard, so they're gonna go and help Tulio as they go punch the wardrobe. <laughs> God, I hope he tears it to shreds. And that's a miss. <laughs> oh, right. Is he not recklessing? <laughs> nope. He's not raging right now. You don't have to rage to Reckless. Well, yes, but he's also not Reckless then. He doesn't usually do that. Yeah, fair enough. He's not Reckless. 
He, he usually only us. does that when Alexandra's in trouble. It hasn't happened in a long while. Alexandra doesn't get in trouble. Yes, she does. Uh, that's, a good, uh, that's a good trait. Someone needs to take that trait from someone. I just fucking... I ain't even bothering with my shield. I just take the spear and just jab, jab. Like, I, I don't know what else to do here. Uh... I don't, obviously, I, I'm assuming that he's uh, restrained, so doesn't provide advantage. Yeah. Do I have a sword? I feel like a sword would do better against this than a hammer. I got a great club. All I got is a spear. Jab. I also have a spear. Jab. I'm assuming I miss on the first one. 14 Let me ahead. double check. I have those hand axes. What the fuck? Yeah, you got the two of the best hand axes. Why aren't they on my attacks? Oh, there they are. Uh, that fourteen is a miss. Yeah, figured. And the twenty is a. I don't know. I'm gonna go get a drink. That's four damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that is your turn, Navi. Uh, hmm. Well, you see... You have watched your ally walk in as someone beckoned them. Do you have a token for the bandage man sitting on the chair? It's gonna be shell. Well, they're currently not shown. All the only can see is a hint of them, but the chair itself is blocking you. They'll be revealed once you can actually see what's there. I'll, uh, I'll draw a little stick figure then. To signify that there is a person there. Okay, okay. I uh, wait with bated breath to see what Navi does. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, hold on. Uh. <laughs> uh. Describe the door to me. This is a heavy wooden door. It looks to be golden trimmings to secure the sides of it and what seems to be the lock areas. Mm -hmm. Definitely a heavy, solid um, doll. DM, I'd like yes? to cast uh, heat metal on the locking mechanism of the door. On the, like, the, <laughs> the handle locking part. Okay. Uh, pull out the spell for me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, they're gonna burn the door down or burn the lock. Yeah, that door's coming down in like literally less than a turn. <laughs> I don't know. You're fighting a wardrobe. Oh. I'm fighting vampires. Well, d d stop going off by yourself. <laughs> don't worry, I got room. them. I got them. You're fine. <laughs> Hopefully. You're fine. Uh all right, I already paid Samuel off. It's fine. <laughs> that that thing that happened 72 sessions ago finally comes back to rent. Okay, you deal some damage. The lock begins to heat up and change color. Okay, and now I move out of the way and order the bear to rush it down on their turn. Which I have to roll for the bear. Let me do that real Dude. quick. I'm waiting for the bear to smash the door, but I'm scared of the bear not being able to smash the door. We shall see. I'll just 
fit that in that they've put in. Navi, and now it is the dresser. And as it is the dresser's turn, they are going to we'll check on its abilities. Oh, this is much more than I thought it, it did. So, the dressers will start to fly out of it as three different dressers attack the three different people that are hostile to it. So, first Alexandria. That's a miss. Tavian. Miss. And Fen. Of course it hits Fen. <laughs> and that would be D6 plus 3. And then the door opens as the clothes once again shoot out for one of you. Hmm? It does Which three attacks do you want? and grapple somebody? Yep. The fuck? Alright. Now, would you like high, low, or middle? Yeah. For what? For the dice roll to see if it's trying to grab you or someone else. M middle? Okay, so you're on the. Floor. Also, Finn and Tavian's tokens are overlapping. They're not overlapping for me. Not me either. Same. I might just need to refresh. Okay, so you're on three to four. Tavian, are you high or low? Uh, I guess I'll take low. Okay. So it is going for. Alexandria. I also want to play the Tuesday game all 20, but that's not the game we're playing right now. Why did you refresh into that one? Did you try uh, to look into it while you were playing this game? Like a lot while ago, but it's yeah, been it does no, that. Why. Yeah, uh, it does that, and it misses. So that is the wardrobe. Huh? How long until I'm at this fucking door? I mean, you gotta move your token with movement. It's, I mean, it's weird trying to get fucking directional, so it's like 70 feet oh, that way. Oh, you want to get to that door? No, the door is right if you go to that square. Because we have, we're in the second story, but I'm seeing the first, you see, never mind. You You're gotta refresh. If yep. The first you're, oh, you you got to refer. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I was wondering I, what you're on about. Yeah, I'm confused as hell. I'm still seeing the sec first story. Are you sure you're um, still seeing the first story? Do you? I'm, do you? Everyone see... else is on the second. <laughs> Are you in like an office space right now? No. Um, we'll lead the blind. We can also have Tavian stream it, and then you can watch it. What the f- I can see the token, so I'm just heading that way. So weird. And, uh... I guess that's my turn. Okay, okay. I'm- I'm sorry that Real 20 at least shit the bed. Okay, and um, this fella will realize something's going on behind them, so they will also start moving that way. Well, hearing the bears call to charge, they'll just wait for that to happen. Then it's the maid. And this music needs to change, because it is tense once more. <laughs> I have Meh. to tell you, good sir, that she is very unprofessional and not understanding of her good work. Says hey, hello, she tries to bite me. 
Okay, I lied about not saying hello. They actually did say hello courteously, but they didn't try to bite me. Okay, I need to roll for them. Disadvantage. That's true. So, 11. Miss. Okay, second attack. Ooh. 17. Does a 17 hit? That's exactly what you need. Okay. With that action, she grapples you. Oh, wait, does she get two attack? Oh, okay. No, keep yeah. going. You're fine. Let's just start dragging you along with her in do this direction. Do they get direction. to do full movement, or is it just half movement? True. True. She would get to here with you in front of her. Wow, this is terrible. I believe we have a guest, ma'am. And as they say that, the figure will ruffle and... Roll perception check for me is with how close you are. Damn. Alright. I might roll bad. Never mind, I see really damn well what they look like. Not only do you see, but you hear that they keep muttering the words traitor, 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 traitor. To themselves over and over again before they turn to you. The cloths moving to the side and revealing a hideous figure. Grey skin, matted flesh, things are just wrong. As you see a banshee looking directly at you. So oh! This, one, this went from bad to worse. That explains why the, um, missus of the house hasn't been seen in a while. Correct. Uh. Also, hideous physics, so make a wisdom save for me. Oh no, hideous visage. Are you jo- oh no, this one's the bad one. This is the bad roll, guys. I will use my inspiration. Did you already use it? No. Um, no, they no. just failed. I just but, I'm saving it, but it's an 11. That is still a fail, so you are frightened. Oh, damn. I need to add her into the turn order. This, this is not good. Well, at least I have plan B. New character? <laughs> um, very much do I, what I do great at. I can't wait for Tavian to go on his revenge arc. Oh no, I already paid Samuel off to be able to fucking revivify the shit. Uh, Samuel's got two diamonds, courteous of me. I'm hoping for the bear to punch this wall down, please. Looks at Samuel. Sorry, I spent my uh, diamond money on Ottomans. No! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I was not expecting them to. Oh, well, now we know the banshee is there. Yep. Bear. Well, you know the banshee's there, and now you're terrified. Yeah. Uh, bear during ram incoming. Okay, make Hopefully that... the heat metal having severely weakened the integral the internal structure of these doors. Make an athletics roll for the charging bear. Eighteen, nice. I would say that's enough as the bear charges forward as its action and breaks it open. Then needs to immediately make a wisdom saving throw. That's fine. Uh, it's not intelligence reliant this time, is it, Gary? No, it's not. 
This is an instinctual thing. Gotcha. This is just not great. It's a wisdom save? Yeah. Yep. Uh, plus one. God damn it. Plus one. Uh, D20 plus one. Yeah, I know. It's 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 plus one. Yep. Thank you. I looked it up earlier for you. Hey! It saves. It's not frightened. It's too dumb Angry to be scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. What this does. Fucking. This... Okay, I know uh, where Mr. Kajar there. is. The head of go, the family. Okay, yeah. thank you. Miss Alexandria. I figured out where he is, and he's not on this continent anymore. He went through one of the years. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have one more room to check that might confirm that. But I know there'd be a very unhappy person in the party. Several unhappy oh. people. At least all of the uh, his financial assets that are underneath his actual name in the kingdom will be seized. Well... First, you have to survive the armor. Well, I mean, that that's already happening. Yeah, the, it's the, the going person out. that's not gonna survive is the inside of it. This Lily having issues happening. No, he's he's probably having trouble breathing. Uh, I'm gonna pull out my hand axe because that's a slashing damage, and I imagine that does better against clothes than bludgeoning. Eh. 22 and 25. Those will be two hits. At least one of us can fucking hit something. I know, right? It's 21 damage. And it's all slashing if that means anything. You stop going against the wood of this frame like an axe murderer, cracking a hole through. The wooden door allowing you to see it with that 21 points of damage. The muffled and covered features of the screeching and slowly being constrained. And muffled ally of yours. Oh shit, he's being suffocated. I have been for a while. <laughs> At least you're chopping it apart. Yeah. There'll be a blink as the butler looks over to the bears, like... Well, that's most important. Why don't you help a little bit? Can't charm the bear. Dominate person. Oh, yeah, it would. It would be smart enough to know that that's a me failure, so... Yeah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Let me charm the bear. Wait! It's not a real person. It's not a... It's not Sir Barrington. It's a bear. Oh my god. Oh... I have to say this, for the Banshee, the the shadow behind the Banshee just makes me think of the fucking uh, He-Man Hey AA video, you know? Um, <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about, but fuck <laughs> Dear lord. It will just go forward and strike twice. To our dear Miss Bear, cause that's the immediate danger. Cause that's a freaking bear. I Finally, mean, <laughs> so there's about to be a much. There's about to be a much larger bear in there very soon. He doesn't know Apparently, that. Apparently, I'm very much in love. They don't with this know that. Bear. It's great. I might. What? I owe Navi a great deal of. Thank the fuck God you have a bear. <laughs> Okay. Those are gonna both hit. Yeah. Oh, they are. Okay, so first off we deal with Claw. Make sure I have the damage right. Yep, I do, and the other one. Okay.
So 12 for the claw. Pulls it in and then bites down into its neck. For 22. Ew. That's a nasty bite. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. That, that the bear's dead. That would have been on toll if your bears had come inside, by the way. <laughs> yeah, well, what? the bear's dead. Um, I appreciate the bear greatly, except for the fact that the banshee goes next. Um, don't put an X through him. They just disappear, mate. I gotta, I gotta use that token again when I summon the next bear. <laughs> Wait, are you gonna summon okay. another bear and then turn into a bear on top yes. of the bear? You're a fucking monster. Bear oh. cavalry, here we go. Also, yes. we really need Alexandria in this room. I think either Samuel and Alexandria are the only ones that could save us in this situation. No, I can just keep throwing bears at them. It's fine. <laughs> I'm coming, okay? I know you keep throwing bears, but that's not the problem. I, it's not I that we keep throw throwing bears. bears. We'll be okay. You know what would really help this situation if you bear. weren't there already by your fucking self? Yeah. Just trust me. Yeah. Bear. Why did I the guards run in there? <laughs> That's a good question. That is a very good question. Why do they run in there? Because it's their job. That's not their were... job. That's not what they were ordered to do. <laughs> I thought they would follow Alexandria, not follow me. They were following Alexandria, exactly. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, they need to fight armors, not not vampires. Well, uh, 07 to the, to the three HP guards that are about to become food. The They're person real. they were following was this fella here. Yeah. And he's moved towards this threat, so they're like, we'll get in there. They're, and... they're actually not guard stat blocks, they're a little chunkier. Oh, thank god. But not much. Yeah, they're a little bit Really not much. Not, not instant one touch. Okay, there's a smear in the wall. You know okay. what's sad for you, Gary, though, is that now you have to make them all roll with them. Oh, uh, this fellow broke out of the armoire on the very, very low standards of life. But they break out, fall, gasping for breath, and it's their turn. They're no longer being suffocated. Yeah. I need to roll for horrifying visage for these three. I may be able to get a chance to actually fight the fucking vampires. You know, the the thing paladins are good at. You know what makes me laugh is that if they wail and they... Oh, well, no, never mind. I'm actually... I forgot. Banshees suck. Okay. So, boop. Oh, nope. Didn't mean that. One succeeded, the other two failed. But now it is the Banshee's turn. Who will rise up from her seat. Now, what will she do? Um, be nice and give me a, a you know. She's, she's gonna wail. Um. Well, she's uh. actually, she's gonna move closer. So she's right in your face while muttering traitor than just oh, screeching oh it at a full volume. Horrible mm. question for you, Gary. Is this technically a psychic thing? If you look at the stat at all. Uh, let me have a look at this. Did you do? It has no effect on constructs of dead. All creatures in 30 feet of it that can hear it must make. Oh, it's unfortunately. Uh, oh, it does do psychic. So technically, yes, but only with the damage. Then no advantage then, is that correct? Actually, I'll give it to you. Alright. Well. This will either go greatly or poorly. Let's let the dice decide for me. Rolling at advantage. 21. 
Okay, you take the damage, but you do not immediately fall unconscious at one. I am going to need Samuel to make a con save. Navi is a just con out. save. Yep. Again. For... For the Banshee's Whale. Oh. Yeah, this is where we take right, well, everybody. Here we go, bye! bye. You I'm succeed! Fine. Oh. Oh, fuck. Well, I guess I don't have to cast Silence now. Um... Oh god, the guards are fucked. Well, first... And Miguel's fucked. Yeah, Miguel... They're down. Let me just... Let me click on this guy. And then we've got the guards. The six... I mean... They're not making death saves, they're just at zero. One... I really hate that the guards were in there too, because I can't do something that I was gonna do if I, everything went well for me. Instead though, if I do what I do, they might just suddenly die. Because that currently one... they're unconscious. Oh, yeah, one of them's just... fine. They got a natural twenty. <laughs> yeah, just fucking kill them. No. <sighs> kill the it's fine. And that would be her turn. Can She's done really, her well. Really prefer if you guys not kill a good chunk of Alex and his personal house guard. <laughs> In pale, it is now your turn. As this thing wails, and pale simply goes. Well, first things first, Gary, I have to be fair. You need to roll the psychic damage then. Oh, for those yes. who succeeded. Thank you for reminding me. I f completely forgot about that. Three D six. Seven points of damage for each of you. All right. I was going to use that ability, Gary, except for the fact that I will kill all the guards and I very well could hurt a lot of people. So I plan to use that unless it's very desperate. But in this case, the best scenario occurred. So first things first, I will activate my Ember Magic with the bonus action. Okay. After I activate the Ember Magic, Oh, we're in this crappy situation where it's like, I need to break a grapple, because that's what I'm in one right now, right? You are indeed. So, I will do acrobatics against the vampire's grapple. Okay, dokie, okay, go for it. You broke All out right. of it before, you can do so again. Um... 10. That Just would be a fail. Hmm. That's a plus seven, damn. Do I waste an action surge to try to break out of another <laughs> crap? You're surrounded by two vampires and a banshee, my guy. I'm worried about the vampires in the sense of like, I'm more worried about one vampire than the others, because with my ember magic, I'm going to put this whole room in smoke. Let me first roll how many embers. Bruh. Three embers. Enough for me. I can place my bear down if I can't see shit. Oh, you'll see shit. You can put your bear down. I'm just basically gonna do the thing that'll make my life easier. Let me fix my things. Alright, let me do this. I'm just picking them up, so Gary. It's not allowing me to move them. Hold on one second. That's unusual. Put it on oh. that man. Put it on myself. 
And... Honestly, if I had to pick another person to put it on... The vampire- the other vampire themselves to just shroud. Um, Gary. Is there a way to break the visage, or am I stuck with the visage? Um, thingy. Well, you roll a uh, wisdom save at the end of your turn. I just had to ask Gary because they could have modified the banshee. That's true. That's true. There is been slight mod modifies, but it's not that. You do need to make your save. Reason why I asked because technically they're not in within my line of sight anymore. If that's the traditional banshee, which means I can not roll a disadvantage. So. With that said, straight roll. Okay, doka. Here we go. There you go. You break free from the terror that gripped you. Well, no, I didn't break free from the terror. I broke free from one of the terrors. One terror currently has me by the throat. Yep, which they know you're there. They could still attack you if they can't see you. <laughs> That's the one vampire I'm worried about. The other vampire is gonna have to struggle. So will the Banshee, because I'm basically making it so that it's like the best I can do is mitigate as much chaos to me as possible. So, with that said, I will hold the ace in my car. I'm holding my ace and end my turn. Okay. Samuel, with your vision allowing you to see things that are unseen, you would see a figure, another maid, slipping across the roof and lowering themselves down, getting ready to ambush Navi. Where? It's not your turn, you're just seeing this, but I might yes, as well reveal where? it. There. So I can't point and y shout at them? You can. Where? I'm just gonna be like... I see you, fuckface! Navi, right here. Pointing at him. Fun. Oh yeah. my god, that was the person that was gonna eat me. It was. And instead, they're going to try and eat your friend. Now, they don't Did get they say it, anything? They... Just smile at you wider as they strike towards Navi. This will not be with advantage because Navi has been given some warning that there's something there. But first strike. A uh, 21. Then the bite. 17. Do those hits, Navi? No shit, I'm a Navi, not a anything else. Well, does the 17 still hit, just to clarify? My AC is 14, my dude. Yeah, druids are not is. known for their AC. Okay, so first the claw. Do they do d4 plus 3? 9 point. Then the Fight. Just do six plus three, and then we have necrotic for two. Six. I don't exactly have blood. I don't know what they're after. Yeah, they didn't know the that. Oh fuck, that's gonna Is be weird that... for them. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's not. Hmm. Yeah, they bite down on that golden. Nectar flows into them. Which has an interesting reaction from them. Yeah, I wanna say I was gonna say, uh I, I don't know exactly what the raw form of that fucking nectar that is in that is my blood is gonna do to them. I mean it would be funny if I would describe it as your photosynthesis, so it's just your blood's you know, sunlight and it is them. we've confirmed it's magical already. I say a visible reaction from them drinking it, would there be veins starting to go green? 
And gold, kind of a mixed color. Do they have a positive or negative reaction? It's a wide-eyed confusion and it's a state they don't even know how to respond to. It's absolutely right. Okay, and that is their turn. Ben is over here. The wardrobe is still a threat, so they will re now reckless at it. This wardrobe's hard to kill. This wardrobe needs to die. It took 18 damage. And it's still kicking, though it's looking much weaker. Jesus and fragile. Christ. Tavian, I was not expecting this to be a split combat in two different parts of the house. Well, neither did we. <laughs> Try and finish up this thing, I'll be way better over there. While you guys do that, I'm gonna go take care of laundry. I'll be right back. Go do what you gotta do. Yeah. Um... Yeah, no, just stab, stab. Eighteen twenty-four. Gary. Okay, that's that. Uh, those would both be hit. Fourteen damage total. Dear fuck, I keep rolling ones on my damage. Close, but not all the way there. Fuck it. I'll, you know what? Fuck it. I'll pop a single mystic spell strike into the end of it. So. Roll that damage. Fucking. Nine. And with that, it ceases to move. Yep, just. And then I'll. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I don't see anything going on, but I also don't see any of the people outside. Like, what the fuck? And that's that. That's correct. Now it's Navi. Wow. Uh. That girl's got her own problems to deal with, so I'm just gonna. I assume wisdom save, or not because of the smoke, right? You, you can't actually see it at the moment, so you, you don't even know it's there. Actually, you heard the wail. Do you know so, something uh, is there? First things first. I have another bear. Well, where are you placing it? I can place it myself. Okay, dokie. Okay. Let's get that initiative Second. for the bear. Second? Uh, yeah, let me do that. Uh, second thing second. Uh... Even bigger bear that doesn't even fit in that space. Is that a, is that a, no? It fit. Yeah, right. you, you. If you move down, yeah, you just fit. I just oh. fit there. It's a tight squeeze, but yeah, you fit. Put Navi down over here to keep the order. Double roar. Yeah, double roar from now to bear. Um, and yeah. it is dealt with. Samuel. There's now two big bears. Who? Uh huh. Who's the other one? My friend. One's Navi, one's a summon. Oh. Alright, I step up here. Uh, I. 
channel divinity to turn undead. Okay, does open door it, within 30 feet if they can hear me. Ah, I thought it's if they can. They can hear okay. or see me. So I'm going to tell them. Fuck off, essentially. Okay, could you get the stats up for that? I'm so too I tired for this shit. It's a wisdom saving throw. Okay. okay. And could you pop it up for me so I could read the description as well? Yes, Dad. No. Wait, what? Not for 330, what the fuck? So two of them succeed. So that I don't know be... who you want that to be, but... I do it by the order they're closest to you, so... She succeeds... Fails... Fail, and Banshee succeeds. The Banshee is closer than this one. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I guess I is. I'll accept that. So, uh, yeah. Must spend its turn trying to move fast, as far away from me as it can. Those two. Yeah, once it's their turn, it'll do, and is that just continuous or just for that turn? That is continuous for a minute, or until they take damage. Okay, okay. Um, and then... I will... Healing word, the dude who's on the floor. Because he can be of use. Okay. I guess. Healing word, healing word, healing word, healing word, healing word. And he gets... Six points of healing. Okay, he's awoken. And, and I go up here. Oh wait, was it this guy, or was it... I might have got the wrong one. No, him, next to me. Yeah, I got the wrong one. Because he has, he has a skill set, right? Yep. Yeah, so he can, he should be able to do something. I don't know. So he gets up a, a bit stunned with the, with that amount of hit points, and then just glances over seeing an ally down, and they'll give them a healing word themselves. So another one is up. Of course, I rolled a one. Could be better than nothing. They'll well, step here, but nothing. they can't see any enemies at the moment, so that was their turn. This one failed there. Actually, yeah, they failed theirs. So, for you, Tola, this would be great news, because you are released. As this creature will disengage, full movement, 30 feet, and out the window. Oh my god, it's going to be released to the public. Yep. Disengages over a bear. Well, it's disengaging. It can move its foot it to... Just, just casually walk by a bear. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, it, it can't disengage. It, it has to it, dash. It dashes. It has to dash. It has oh. to dash, that means the bear can bite it. It yeah, has the... to move as far as it possible can. Okay, so the bear does get attack of opportunity. If the bear hits it, it means that... Well... Yeah, it'll stop its turn. 
But okay. it wasted its turn, so that's something. Okay, so roll the hit. Did not mean an advantage. A 10 would unfortunately miss. So, it leaves, bye. Yep, it jumps out the window and it's running it out into... Daytime? It's starting, it's, it's like in like an hour, it's going to be, it's just before sunrise. Oh, so that thing's fucked out there if it stays outside. For long enough, yeah. Well, the thing is that it looks like a regular woman, so the problem is it could, if it's smart. It, it doesn't. It'll go hide somewhere. Well, currently it's terrified running for its life. Yeah. That, and it doesn't look like a regular woman, it looks like a old, decrepit, decaying hag. No, the maid that jumped out the window. Oh, the maid! Okay, I, I thought but, that... Uh, but I will say, the maid's gonna look very strange I, as it jumps out the building and guards all, all around watching this thing jump out the window at high speeds, unlike a maid could. No, yep. Oh yeah, it's gonna be great. Uh, possible vampire. The whistle has been blown. Yeah, no, like, it's, this is, but they're, they're out. Okay, um, I'll be just doing rolls to see what happens outside as it's running and guards will be trying to stop them. Uh, Alexandria. I guess I shall commence the dashing. Sixty foot. Miss, I'm going to open up this door. Oh, the no, there's vampires. I'm gonna walk in anyways. Technically, since you can't see the Banshee, if you do, then you basically don't have to worry about the, hor the horrific visage. You could have just closed the door. I... Well, the door was already closed. It closed behind... Yeah, you said you could close the door, and it's like it did close. Bite Go your own words. Go to jail. <laughs> Anything else you want to do, Alexandria? We're waiting on you. I, I dash. That's all I can do. All right, let's stare at Gary for the moment. Then this fella, who isn't currently in a state of confusion, so they just step out of the smoke, glance around and sigh as they see another and bear. There's a bear again. Yep. <laughs> this house is plagued with bears. I don't know what could possibly be happening. It's Oops. the bear necessity. Da da Oops. da. Oh damn it! I got the song stuck in my head now. <laughs> Oops! All bears. bears. Oops, I bared it again. These bear puns are unbearable. We already said that one. Shit. Uh, really stand just listening to all of this. Mm. The bite succeeded. So that'll be... Fun. So the bear takes to do, do, do. Oh my god. Twenty-six points of damage. Jesus. Gary, you gotta stop rolling max damage, my man. It's not completely max. But fuck. Yeah, that that was a hard bite. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, and that I don't believe there's anything else to do. It's only. Yep. Is it so bear? Uh, this thing just hit the bear, so the bear's gonna hit it. Go for it. That's one hit. So the two is the one that the bird I hit. That was the vampire or the banshee? The beer. Got you slash across its chest, ruining its attire as blood seeps. Mm -hmm. Is that it? The guards uh, get to their feet, glance over, they can't see any threat at the moment. So they'll draw their crossbows and ready an action to shoot if they can see a threat. It would be preferable if they got out of the way of the bear. They, they can't really get out of the way. You're kind of filling the exit. No, yeah. over here. I guess there is nothing blocking their sight if they move it over there a little bit. Okay. This one who gets to his feet, have his movement. Dean. So as I head out, seeing everybody rushing out for some reason. The Banshee. Who has to run? They just sink through the floorboards. Okay, bye! Impale. As the smoke slowly clears, and I look to this butler. Slowly, surely, you see Impale look upon them and go like, Well... This looks grisly for you. I was not trying to delete myself. I was trying to get rid of the smoke. Um, let me pull my token back up. Gary, will you fix my initiative? I don't remember what your initiative was. 24.19. Okay, uh, once you've added yourself in, I can back. I'll just slap you in as 24. That'll do. There you go. So anyway. Also, their held actions go off. Well, that's true. There's only one target that they can currently still see, so they'll shoot at that. And a dupe. That's two fails. So I will jump over this love seat, knock over this coffee table as I basically go flanking this guy. And I will proceed to. Also, I would. Okay, the best way I'm trying to describe it. I'm dropping my shield to pull out a dagger. And I will tend to slash this guy apart with a flaming rapier. The dagger I have is the daggy dagger of mercy, so it's magical. So here we go at advantage. Oh my god. 
One hit, right? Yep, I'm, can you stop poking and discard? It's distracting. I'm poking? Someone was posting in discard, it's kept popping up for me. <laughs> okay, uh, that would be a hit and a miss. I'd say okay. Um, I will do the poke. That would be... Well, let me see how many embers I rolled. Three embers. Alright. So that will be a total of six fire damage. A miss. I will use my bonus action to slash him with the dagger. So that's a 24. I'll be a hit. Seven piercing. Okay, okay. Magical piercing, though, I should mention that. We should. Trying to see what else I could do. Are all your weapon attacks magical? Um, ones are fire, so yes, and then the other one's magical. So yeah, all of them are magical in this case. Okay, okay. And then. Might as well, since I might as well take advantage of killing this guy. He seems to be the bigger threat. Action Surge. So, with Action Surge, I will do another two attacks. I'm on roll 20. Be nice to me. Yes, we're trying to be nice for the person that was minutes ago surrounded now perfectly fine. <laughs> Alright, those are two hits. Okay, roll the damage. That is 15 fire. Um, so that I don't accidentally delete my token again. I'm just going to put smoke clouds again in a different way. Basically, I'm going to put a smoke cloud to the side here. Put a smoke cloud right here, and then I'm going to put a smoke cloud on top of me. Okay. There we go. And that'll be the end of my turn, because I will tell you what cloud I'm in, Gary. Basically doing the big shuffle around. He's going to have to either fight the bear or fight me. But yeah, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Then it's this mate. Who is just going to attack Samuel? Bring it, bitch. So first would be the claw. That hurts. And then once she's gripped you, she's gonna go for the bite. Rip. So she's grappling me. No. She's she's just a claw and then a bite. It's just theme. Oh. I think the bite does grapple you when it succeeds. It's... I think it's the gra it's the claw. Oh, okay. You get, you get to choose if it's either a grapple or damage. Uh, okay, well, okay. she does not hit the bite. Oh wait, I I actually have to grapple you to bite. So they would have grappled you. Okay. So you don't take any damage, but you are grabbed by this creature now. Okay. So 
a little too close. Yep. Fan. Damn, you smell. Rude, I babe. Not often enough. Get in front of Alexandra, technically. <laughs> Tavian! 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. And I'll go yes. ahead and bonus action because I haven't used combat today going to stance of the radiant stun and start glowing <laughs> and that's all I got Navi don't worry hey, her. uh we're gonna And, uh, there we go. Hi, Mr. Vampire Man. Would you oh, like to become associated with the uh, nom slash? Uh, let me. That's one hit and one miss. Okay, they take that. Now he's got two bears. You're gonna kill them with your bare hands. All right. I hope so. Anyway, that's it. <sighs> okay. It's going to take a legendary action. It's just going to go and try and bite the bear again to deal with that problem. Hmm. I'll be excited. Rats, the bear seems tasty. It's a lot of hair in your mouth. Are you sure you want to keep doing that? Just double checking. Dude. Just making sure I get the damage right for this. And then... <gasps> It does that much. That's 16. I think that is exactly the bear's health. That it is. So the bear vanishes. Goodbye, bear. It does, and he's looking a little bit healthier. Well, that's fine. Amwa um, is no longer a problem. Is it Pale's turn already? Damn. You didn't fix my initiative. Yeah. Yeah, there's two in two impales on the initiative order. Yeah, that one doesn't exist. Uh, that's completely wrong. Okay, Samuel. Hey, where did you go? <laughs> you deleted. You deleted impale again. Who? Deleted both of them. I could see no, the no, tiny no, fall. No, it, it's there. just underneath Tulio. Okay. This this person is dead. They're at zero. They're Dying. unconscious. Okay, I'm designated everybody I can see currently. I guess I can't see Impale. You can't. No. Okay, so Impale doesn't count. 
So all the guards, the bear, person next to me, Tavian, uh, except for all the fuckeries, uh, spirit guardians, radiant. I just look this person in the face, smile, and just grab the holy symbol and say something. And uh, open sesame on this bitch. Okay, I'll roll for that when it's her turn. Okay. And check. it is radiant. I have the weirdest feeling that you have to concentrate on turn undead, but I think that was just a kind of asshole not. DM ruling. Yeah. It, the stipulation is if they take damage. Yeah. So. Uh, that is my turn. And with that being in your turn, move on. Miguel. Miguel. They'll step on through. They'll give some inspiration to Samuel, seeing they may need it as they're currently grappled. That, actually. That one seems to be surrounded by a giant bear. You look like him in more need, so they'll move over to stab this woman. Yeah, you know how it is. Unfortunately, no. However, they do get two. Oh, they only got one attack. Yeah. It's the other one that gets two attacks. And I thought he was a rogue. Oh, rogues get two attacks. No, they get a sneak attack. You get a bonus action attack if you use your bonus action. Ah, uh, uh, that that's why I'm has getting an mistaken. Offhand weapon. Okay, stuff is happening outside, which I need to make quick rolls for. There's a lot of very skilled people out there. Yeah, but they just rolled really, really poorly. Come on, Magnus and the captain of the fucking city guard. Yep. There's, there's a lot of really good people out there, as you said. I just got on that one. <laughs> Dang. I rolled two dice for both of them, and the fourth is their leading, so... Not doing the best on keeping this one. So... See that natural 20 there, DM? Yep. And you know that this is an undead, right, DM? Yep, I do. And you know I have second huh. level smites, right, DM? Yes, That's just right. roll. Okay. <laughs> Don't you go on, mate. <laughs> I know, but like big yeah, numbers. Yeah, dawned with it. Says the British god from Monty Python. <laughs> I, five, I wish. 40, 50, <laughs> one, 53, 60 damage, even. Okay. It also is also a magical weapon. Mm -hmm. Yep. I know. Okay, and that would be your turn, or anything else? As you swing down and score it over the head with a mighty blow, darkening an expression into an ashy color. Mm, yeah, that's my turn. Okay, okay. This individual will glance to the bear for a moment, considering them. And then just nodding to themselves, they start swinging. As they just remove their tie. Seems like they're getting a bit more serious now. Swing. Swing. 
and bye. I'm gonna forget to level up after this. I don't know, Moomin. You think we'll level up after this? I don't, yeah, Moomin, oh. what do you think? Yes. <laughs> I, because, you know, if I think about it, it feels like, you know, we earned it. We had a hard battle. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> uh-huh. Anyway, uh, the first one misses the rest hit. Yep, yep. And I'd just like to say, you guys only leveled up like three sessions ago. You said that like three, three sessions ago. <laughs> it's not been three sessions ago, I can tell you but that. When you, came up from the, when you came from the wall. Yeah. Well, that's. Sessions ago. That's like that seven sessions ago. Takes a while. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of sat around for like two sessions just staring at been... the wall. The party was three sessions ago. The start of the party was three sessions ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come We've on, Gary, almost... don't pull a boomie. I'm, for fuck's sake, <laughs> anyway. I'm trying to focus. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're irritating him. Keep Good. at it, he'll forget. <laughs> Uh, keep, Eight uh, points of damage yeah. from that claw. It's getting late. We gotta finish this fight so we can go to bed. True. Or at least to finish the details. And that's the bite. So you take in total twenty-nine points of damage, never. And this man doesn't realize that underneath this bear is another bear, and probably also another bear behind him. Very true. Very true. <laughs> These guards will have to shuffle again, now that you're in the way. Yeah, Big well... fuzzy butt. And take two shots. Why don't they just shoot right over the bear? <laughs> what are they taking shots of? The, the crossbows. The vampire? With the crossbows? Dude, the shots of the vampire? Damn. What kind of liquor is that? Yeah, man. Okay. Not bad. I've never heard of it. How about they the blood orange? They got two shots so there, which... It's just Pretty good shots. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Exactly. Just We're gonna need an whatever. absinthe. Just, just, just the worst. There's actually a red vodka called the vampire. Oh shit, really? Yeah. I believe it. Oh, Damn. I totally believe it too. That is like... P-Y-R-E. Okay, and then that entity. So I need to make rolls for her as well. I feel like you could just take regular vodka and put red dye in it. Damn! So while you try to do saves for them, Impale pops out of the smoke. That that saves for the people outside that having to deal with the runners. Ugh. Oh, so basically they're getting murdered out there. Huh? Not going well, I can safely totally say. I mean, it mean it at least means that we'll chase them down. They're not going quietly. Um. So I have a bear. I'm gonna take advantage of this and just simply say, claw your way out of this one. As I start stabbing this guy. 23. Nat 20. Nice, nice. And a dagger to the back. Fucking finally you get some decent fucking luck. <laughs> so... Nice. Him. Delete this man. Let me roll my embers first. Alright, cool. Jesus! So, first the rapier damage. <laughs> That'll be 10 fire damage. Then the crit. 
That'll be 13 fire damage on top of that. Then the dagger. That'll be 10 piercing plus 8 embers into this guy's back. Okay, another 10. 30, so that would be a total 43. of 41. 41. How? Oh, because of the 8. Never mind, I'm dumb. I can't count. Yeah. I basically am ripping this guy apart. Wait, did I'm confused. Was that last one a double as well? Because I, I thought it was just 10 points of damage. Well, I also added the 8 embers. Ah, okay. That's, that's what I get confused on. So, that 41. All magical, so he takes it directly. Okay. And I won't hide this time. I'm ready to rumble with this guy. Well, all that turn. damage tore into them. And at the end of your turn, <sighs> Scorch, Ashy Skin, Rageful Eyes glance to you as legendary action, they go in to bite you. Does he need to grapple me to bite, or can he just bite me? Not this one. The other ones right, do, he doesn't. He's just gonna crit me, I just see it coming. That's a miss. Oh. It's a myth. Legendary action, whiffed. They're made. Scorch. Oh, that's true. Fail. Alright, <clears throat> Samuel, do your thing. The bitch. Also, hello. But you give her smelling bad. Spit it, got yes. That's not that great. Thirteen. It takes thirteen points of damage. Friends, turn is not really a space for them to get in, so they're just kind of here. <laughs> like, well, well, what is she doing on her turn? Oh, did I skip her turn? Oh, I did. Are we back to skipping turns? It's I her like turn. this more. She's she's grappling you, so she's gonna go in for a straight bite. So. Do. Oh! Damn! That's well, just like one of her actions, that, too. Uh, might need That's that move by Tolman. Wait, what just happened? A crit Same on the that bite. Yeah. Who who crit on the bite? The one grappling Sam. Oh, buddy. And that's just one. She still got another attack after this. Hey, so, this damage. Oh, it's okay. Could have been worse. Yep. That's. Oh, she's just a vampire spawn. Been way worse. So it's twenty-four. Oh yeah. Oh, that that wasn't double. Okay, so it is worse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, your boys uh, hurt. Hey, Samuel. Do you want to take yes. that damage? I don't. Then don't. <sighs> okay. Hold on. Because on. I've been saving this for a hot minute. It's no save. Trade places with me. <laughs> what? Trade places with me. Move All back. Alright. I love trading You're spaces. Right there. Okay. And... Latavian, you just took that 24 points of damage. Yep. So I, I took no damage? Took no damage. Yeah. Nothing. Yep. Yeah. Alright. You literally so... tried places with. Mm -hmm. Yep. You're, you're fine. You no longer grapple. Tavian's grappled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and second attack. Be another bite at 21. That hits. Tavian. Funny. You take 12 points of damage. 
you're the cleric, you can't go down. <laughs> yeah, I was about to do a concentration check, too. Mm -mm, that's still up. Now, Gary, I noticed that for a few of the bites, you haven't been talking about how much the, if max HP goes down. Oh, I was oh, forgetting about that. Fuck me. All right. So he took two bites. Mm -hmm. uh, also, question. Uh, are they affected by Radiant with their healing shit? Oh, well, yeah, they shouldn't be able to heal. But it's Gary. But it's Moomin, you mean? Yeah. It... With you're talking about regeneration. Mm. This is the bite that that isn't affected by Definitely. that. Definitely. They're drinking Definitely. your blood. Oh wait, do they heal off the bites yeah. now? They. Yeah. Man, I'm not They've familiar with. Done. I'm not familiar with the vampire stat box. I have no fucking idea. Why do you think this main guy below is scary? It's because he's been biting the bear. Well, he's also a mm -hmm. full-fledged vampire. Yeah, but yep. the max HP going guess, down is a... just the bear's max HP. It's fine. <laughs> that doesn't transfer. <laughs> Haven't we discussed how everything transfers? Like, Wait, it's effective a creature before? It? No. Like in, effects, in this particular yeah. case, this is like a, this is a health pool. It's yeah, a different true. health pool. That's true. Yeah. But it do, it's all the necrotic damage, which is the extra two d six that was so, taken. So mm -hmm. seven Double, and six. The eight, the crit. Shit. Yeah, the crit doubled. So seven that's taken from your max. Seven plus sixteen is twenty three. So, uh, 23 of my HP, I can't heal back, so <laughs> I'm stuck at bloodied until a long rest. Do you yeah, that soul takes the blood of you? Luckily, I've you only got have 64 a paladin, HP. and you are a scary guy. Yeah, also, I wonder how my blood affects this person, because it's different now. <laughs> Yeah, so she was already having like weird vein stuff going on, and now it's another scr scrunched up face of just. Ugh. I think I heard. Serves you right. <laughs> Fen moves forward. Tavian, you're grappled. Uh huh. Grappled does not impose disadvantage to, to, to hitting. It doesn't. So. Proceed uh... to bonk. So, uh, never took my, sh my shield back out. Poke. Poke. I can keep going if we need to. At least to finish the combat. Mm -hmm. mm. I think that, that we're not finishing this anytime soon. Yeah. 16 and the 19. Okay, those are two hits. Alright. Then, uh, on the first one, another spell slot down, but. Uh, wait, does this, uh, let me double check something real quick. Because I might need to add an additional D uh, D6 to this, depending, because it is, it is pretty much just pallid and white. Uh, with the specific stance. Let me double check, where is it? There it is. Nope, uh, but it needs to make a con save. So what, it took 19 points of damage and then needs to do a con save? It, it takes 19 points of damage and needs to make a con save. And then... Okay. Take that off. I am... running dangerously close to out of spells. It fails, it is blind. It okay. has been affected with a blind condition. For... How long? Until the end of its next turn. So, you know, just just that. But uh, let's see if I fucking just eat it. So, an additional 7 damage to that for a total of 26. Okay, Navi. Wow. Wow. Well, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna, 
Okay, a solid bit of damage there. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um, you what? Um. Uh, fuck this bitch. She's blinded. Currently, yeah. Yes. So you have advantage. Does that affect how you hit them? Uh, if uh, if they cannot see you or see the attack coming. You have advantage. Everybody technically has advantage on this hoe until the end of her next turn. Okay. And if she is blinded, if I step in and step out, she can't attack me? Nope. Okay. Well, just to be safe. We're gonna go with old reliable. Please don't hit me with it. <laughs> Just in case. That was That's close. So damn close. Ah, it's only nine. So nine points of radiant. And that's my turn. Well, I'll take one step back. And that's my turn. Oh, good thing. Then this one, who is right there, so he might as well make his attack. That advantage. Whew. That'll be a hit. Stuff is happening outside. It's going very terribly so far. Let's see if it proves. What? Oh, what? There isn't. Uh, not so well, but a little bit better for one side. So a bit average. Alexandria. Uh, I activate bonk. A miss and a hit. Okay. Uh, that was the. Ad, uh, you do have advantage currently. Oh, also, quick question: Is why? that the butler? This is the butler. Oh yeah, shit. So that'll be the first attack. This will be the next one. So that begs the question: Where's the lady and lord of the house? Gone. The banshee. Oh, the banshee was the lady. The lord is fucking gone. He went through one of the mirrors, probably. Mm. That's that's been uh, figured out for a while. Gotcha. So nineteen for that, and yeah, is blind. Okay, roll your damage. And I forgot to turn on the smites. They're undead. Okay. Okay. With that all done, she bursts into ashes as her form begins to drift. She is she dead? All her form turned to ashes. <laughs> She becomes a vampiric mist. Prepare yourselves. And that'll be my turn. Okay, this fella. He 
think they're focused on Impale. Well, first, Flash. Ow. So that is going to be. Do let me double check. Oh, are they going to grapple instead, or are they going to slash? They're gonna. I think they're gonna grapple you. So I just go for two straight by instead of using a legendary action for it. Well, so, that's gonna hurt. Yep. So to do. So bite. That is a miss. That, is that one's a hit. Okay, uh, this is five damage you take, which is not that good. Well, could have been worse, although that does mean I lose seven HP. Uh, it does. Alright, cool. Uh, how bad is Impale looking at this moment? You know how you were bitten pretty badly? Mm -hmm. They're still reeling from those bites, so I'm... Impale is also not looking super great. Hey, uh... Does somebody want to roll me a coin to see what I do in this situation? <laughs> no. Make up no. your own fucking mind. Right, you got fine. this, buddy. Heads. Get a wisdom roll. Too late. Already flipped a coin and. Hey, wow. Impale, trade places with me. <laughs> um, oh, you're, you're going to pal. die if you do that. I won't yeah. die. I'll just be <laughs> unconscious. <laughs> God damn I it. Don't, this man. I don't. The thing is, I refuse. Then you make a wisdom save. That is the choice. You fail. Get shunted. Thing is, it's very unnecessary for them to do that. He doesn't know that. Yep, um... They bite down and... Don't let the man die if he wants to die. Well, the reason why I mention this, Tavian, is because if your ne ne you know, the negative necrotic damage hits you to zero, you're dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I can still... I have more HP. Technically. It's not underneath at the moment. I think that it's means when you hit... His... Max. When your health hit. is reduced to zero from the drain, you are dead, dead. That's what that's what I'm trying to get oh, at. Oh yeah, that's right. Don't this do that. A oh, vampire. Shit. Yeah. yeah. It's like yes. you're, you're fighting a vampire. Yeah, and when yeah, you are drained down to zero, you are dead. Yeah. Which just vampire. happened because you did. You just oh, killed well. yourself. Eh, shrug. We've got diamonds, it's fine. It's not the first time you've killed yourself. Oh there. my god. It's fine! <laughs> so, Tavian in know desperation <laughs> to save Tola Oops. exchanges places as the teeth bite down, and in that moment their form shrivels up as their eyes glaze over, and they fall limp. What are your last thoughts, Tavian? Uh, Two days in a row. Oh yeah, my god. Fucking, you know what? Uh, I don't think he has any. It's all on impulse. He sees somebody who looks like they're gonna fucking eat shit and die, and his only thought is to save someone else. Would have done it for anybody. Do you know what's funny? Hmm. I'm sitting here, the HPAC tank... I don't think I really got swung at much. That's why I'm sitting there going like, I could have handled that. Well, fuck <laughs> if I know, man. I don't know. That's why I asked. 
Well, that's why I said I don't look great. I didn't say I looked like I was dying. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, man. It's all right. It's too late. I already, already said it. already flipped the coin. You're a corpse. Dead. It's fine. I'm let's, dead. It's let's good. Let's move on. Moving on. <laughs> Oops. Well, Gary, now we both can say we killed the same player. Yeah. Like, fuck. Yeah. Well, in fairness, <laughs> at least in this case, it's 100% on James. Yep, nope, I well, had no fucking clue. <laughs> Might be. <laughs> I just said I didn't know the stat block. Man. Uh, this fellow is crazy. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh yeah, it's but a constant that, uh, one. It's a it's a fun spell. But that funny little X over your uh, you got yeah, it. You you're got gonna it, have chief. to put next. So what the vampire doing? Uh, they glance to the corpse and drop it. Hey James, doesn't this violently remind you of yesterday? No, no. No, yesterday I caught it's it. It's 12.30, let's try and finish up this fight. Please, just continue. Ahead. <laughs> oh, those are two hits on this spell. Oh, well, they actually learned how to aim. Well, they've only hit three times before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that. That. Much. That moment. This sneaky boy will appear. You stab him in the back. I would love if Tulio was the one that killed him. I <laughs> would literally laugh so damn hard. He fails to land the fucking blow. <laughs> you jinxed it, Moon. <laughs> oh, I didn't jinx it because it's mine. Oh. I will take this blow. Although, honestly, this is like one of those rare moments. I kept making quirp um, quips and corpse with like Impale. This is one of the rare moments where Impale very much is quiet. Witnessing this. Do you want to be hilarious? Like, legitimately hilarious in the worst ways possible. What if Steam is that with their level spell slots? And X is oh. just keeping his mouth shut. True. I'm not saying anything. We'll <laughs> say basically, instead of a very, you know, normal impale, this impale, no mercy, jumps forward. I will use one of my embers to push me five feet or two feet forward, so I can be right on, on top of Tavian. And I will begin to use at advantage a flurry of blows to stab this thing. No more corpse. No, no, no more quips. No more jokes. This is very much like pluming smoke coming out of this mask in a fury. That's a sadness. I did. That's a 25, though. That is a hit. And then I'm going to do a dagger. 19, so. That'll be a hit. Alright, this one's fire damage. And then the dagger will be magical, but I'm going to use three embers to pump it with fire. Go for it. So that'll be a total of 20 damage for both damages combined. Okay, it's, they're still standing though. They're getting closer and closer to the edge. Every time they bite, they're restoring what they can and then suddenly someone jumps in and batters that back down, pushing them closer to the edge. If only I was a barbarian, then I could have been like this moment of like, I rage for the first time. I that would one... rope. I would describe him more, but it's late, so I don't want to make people feel like I go in long wind terms. So let's keep going. We are almost done. Mm -hmm. Didn't mean to interrupt you, Gary. 
That's perfectly fine. Vampire is a corpse, it's Finn's turn. I will say though, they're going to do a legendary action. And they're going to try and swipe at you, Tola. You've proven yourself a deadly threat, and they need to get rid of you. Yeah. That is exactly hit? my AC. I don't... Yeah. <sighs> You know, I might have to use one of those awful, awful things I have. Um. Ooh. Let me message you, Gary, but go ahead and do the damage. Okay. Ten points. Alright, 10 points. As the player in my heart, I cannot do the thing, I just have to let it happen. So, I end my turn. I would love to do the thing I want to do, but damn, I don't want to make things awful. Okay. Then it is this figure. Fen will start moving in themselves, aren't they? Now they can. I can dash to get around my map. Oh, you're true, they could dash and they probably would. And as they dash there, a legendary action, and they're going to go bite. The new foe that's just shown up. Then they just use the legendary action. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, that's how they work. I keep forgetting how legendary actions work. Do do do. And they missed. Tavian. I didn't do shit. <laughs> that's a corpse. We don't need to worry oh. about him anymore. Keep going. No. You kind of do, because what happens when a vampire drains someone to zero? Hello, Shadow. Shadow. Wait. Son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. Wait. Oh my god. Oh no. Welcome to the land of the living, and you have fresh prey around you, Tavian. You are hungry. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, actually, oh. I lied. No, hold on, that's not true. And I'm going hey. off of I'm going off of previous knowledge. Uh, I don't think it's a shadow. No. Nope. No, they get turned into a vampire spawn, but it's not immediate. They need like a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's not immediate, Ben. You're thinking you're thinking of a few other what, things. What makes it? You need like rights. What I will say before we think that. Gary could play it as he does. So, Gary's final rule. Is, yep, that's, that's true. true. If you want to rule it that way. I was planning to rule it that way. I kind of set it up that way. That's ah, fine. Oh, well. if, that, if that is what it is, that's fine. Oh, uh, is God. it a shadow or a vampire spawn? I was just thinking of it as a vampire spawn, personally. Right. Yes. Um, that that's not good at extending all. Extending the combat quite a bit. Then... However, this could be the moment we leave it for this session if people would want to. Because I know it's getting late and people have okay. work tomorrow. Yeah. I better not miss oh. next session then. I'll be very sad if I do. What the fuck? Jeez. This went from... Oh, Angry fine. to now horrified. Yeah. Yeah, it just got worse. Now there's another vampire yeah, spawn. It got yeah. worse. It got this significantly worse, possibly. Right.
the I now have to talk to you, Gary. <laughs> Full vampire spawn. Well, like, hey, at least I'm actually in there, and uh, yeah, that hey, means James. I can't revivify you at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you're. Oh, that tired. means that means Tavian's yep. like fuck. God. Now Tavian's gone. I can't revivify him. There yeah, is no more Tavian. That's that's it's, why the the ruling was it's important. It's more than revivify. Yeah, yeah the, I was, the only yeah. thing. I was planning to still say that the revivify work in this case. Well, he's a he's a monster now. He's yeah, no longer he's a human. If that's kind of why. That is that hey, the rule, you have like, yeah. a day to fix. Yeah, that's why the day is typically there. If you've made it the other way around, we may need to have a conversation. Yeah, he, is, or... he is now a creature. I can't. I can't. Revi- yeah. I can't revivify him. He is a creature. Yeah. The only way. The only way you could fix a vampire in a situation like this, if they're a spawn, is we have to kill the main vampire if it's that lore. Yep. yep. Which means I we need to kill the butler. <laughs> That is yep. the only way, and the problem is, I'm. We might need to move Tavian right now to where he's going to be in combat because I cu- I'm currently on top of him. I wasn't expect planning for this to be an end character situation. It's just you risky. never do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. We're we- good. Ooh, buddy. All right. There's there's ways to fix this. It's just yeah. Uh... Well, it's also. Uh, I, I mean, I could get really semantic into I it, mean, but this is also thematically the, like an extremely, extremely, extremely deadly encounter. Yeah. yeah. If we want to, we could just throw Tavian's corpse in front of Alexandra's mom and then we'll see what happens there. That'd be neat. Well, <laughs> see, the thing is, there's an interesting thing going on with my race that may affect this. And that's yeah. kind of what I, I need to talk to Gary about. All I could say, though, is that I think our only chance to possibly save Tavian is killing that vampire. Oh, absolutely. That's definitely at least on the list. But yeah, Tavian, will you move? Gary, where does Tavian uh, stand it. up? Because I'm on top of them. Uh, I'd say, Tavian, you can choose where you stand up. It'll be around them. Mm-hmm. Stand right there. that would be all right. Uh, All right. Yeah. Drag me to secret, scary. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, well, I'm going to bed. That's fine. Right. Good, Good night. I, ho- Good night. I hope. I hope people still had fun. Oh yeah, yeah no, absolutely. It, it just uh, went longer than I thought it would. Yeah, a lot longer, and also decisions impaired, not knowing what would happen. Oops. <laughs> Well, well, to be fair, you wouldn't know in character either. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, the other thing is, um, it's very beneficial that I made two of them run. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, oh, absolutely. That would have been if they were still so here, I this mean, we probably TPK. would all have died. Yeah. True. Yeah. If, if that's a full fucking vampire, we're on level six. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, like, yeah. A full vampire and the it's a weakened <laughs> version. I haven't given you that very high one. I have uh, no. <laughs> they're hey boy, pretty legendary high. resistant, legendary actions, legendary resistances are incredible. Yeah, that yeah. is. Indeed. Yeah. Well, it's either a the you know owner of the manor ran away, or the butler is the owner of the manor and it's just been fucking the wife. Could uh, to be <laughs> honest she. with you, to, I, you know, to be honest, uh, the power level that this vampire is putting out could have been. <laughs> you do got that energy. You do got that banshee fucking energy. Yeah, you do got it. Um, then I will say I'll have to t- talk to Gary a little bit as well and just tell him it's like if I'm not here, here's what would happen. But oh, yeah. okay. we could do that later. Yeah, I kind of need to do that as soon as possible before going to bed. Uh. Oh, I... we, could, we could definitely do that. Yeah. Wish... Jesus, because even that same day, we didn't get a full, proper long rest. Yes, nope. So, like, some of us are down a couple spell slots I literally going had... into this. Yeah, I literally only have two... Uh two fucking first level spells left. 
and hey, on top of Paul. <laughs> You're not your current stat block. I uh, have a question for Gary when he has Joel. time. What's the question? Uh, remind me another time. The spirit wall is still up. <laughs> it's not the right time to ask. Okay. But yeah, no. Uh, you should probably end the recording there, James. Uh, yeah, we'll do.